This has been a nice song to listen to, you know what I feel? Yeah, yeah, let's... Let's drop the music, just un poco, a little. Let's all get real close, huddle up. Are we about to kiss right now? You wish. I'll have yeah, you know I'm a kisser. Dude, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a good Christian boy, nothing until marriage. Okay, let's get married. Ew, commitment, ew. To be fair, I've been committed to running games every fucking Monday. But don't worry, that's not gonna change. However, speaking of things that will change and have changed, we've swapped out the literal fucking war zone that is the continent of Ancelon to go back to the Sword Coast. To a frozen wasteland. The only description fit. For where you are. A frozen wasteland. A area in the north of the Sword Coast. So far north, there's a ridge of mountains called the Spine of the World. And you are past that. The only place in the entirety of Faerun where the prison has so few guards. Because anyone that escapes is almost guaranteed to freeze to death. Unless you have plot armour like the D&D movie. A place where it is known in folklore and legend. Where a uh, drow visited at some point. I know nothing about this drow and I wish to know nothing else about this drow. So that's as far as we shall go. Are the drow mensible? But... Here, in this area, this vast open wasteland, there are a set of towns. And it is hard living. The people who live here make it work. There are hearty folk who live off the land and give back where they can. They are practically Inuits. Recently, however, things have changed. The sun never quite rises past dawn and sets just as fast. The area is in an almost perpetual darkness. The crops barely grow. The townsfolk are spiralling and then some. And in the night, or day. It's hard to tell when there's no sun. A rock can be seen flying through the sky. The small twinkles seem to fall down. People know that this is Oral, the Frost Maiden, the goddess of winter. Winter has come. Always wanted to say that. And <laughs> with it, the Frost Maiden is angry. Or sad. No one knows. What they do know is they're starving. They're cold. They're dying. And what they don't know is there are sinister machinations in play. Very sinister and very very much need to be stopped and who better to take on a literal god can't stress this enough who better to take on a literal god than you guys you just don't <laughs> know it yet and the a team would probably be able to <laughs> she doesn't know what's coming as you have been traveling a little bit you've all had your own reasons for being here. You've all had your own. You know, some of these are from here. Some of these are wayward travelers. Some are what could be classed as locals to this literal barren expanse. You all find yourselves together 
been a few days, and you've been traveling, headed towards the town of Goodmead. How about we all go round and describe ourselves, who we are and what we are, one more time. In absolutely no particular order, but alphabetical order from down the bottom left hand side, side starting with Alpha, ending with Ruby, that would be fantastic. Well, my character stands a, a li walks a little bit apart from you, from you all. She's small. I mean, she's a halfling, so of course she's small. And um, she wears animal scraps for c to cover her most intimate bits, but otherwise she's practically naked. And you don't, and you can't know. I mean, you don't know the reason why she's. She won't tell you. You've asked her before. But she's. She walks as if she's um, completely fine with everything around her. The cold never bothered her anyway. <laughs> You've been waiting to make that joke, ain't you? Yeah, I, I wanted to make the joke for a while now. She has um, long brown curly hair that's mess of, mess of bushy tangles down to her, I guess, kneecaps because she hasn't cut it in a while. And large amber eyes that peer from under her untamed locks. She doesn't look like she's been in civilization in a while. She's feral looking mostly and rugged and barefoot. And she hasn't spoken to you much because she's mostly keeping to herself, but she's trying to be more social, I guess. And your character's name is Lavinia Arainai. Pleased to meet you. You know, straight, I'm gonna struggle with that for a while. <laughs> Been here long <laughs> enough. Lavinia. That's Lavinia. As far as we're going to go. Lavinia. I wanted to have a, like an, an I wanted to have a common English name. Lavinia. I mean, it's not a common one, but it's not anything special. I think her understanding of English is quite different, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, my guy's called George, a very similar to Alpha's character, very hard to pronounce. Um, he he be summed up as an anti-vaxxer. Uh, <laughs> doesn't really do medicine at all. Will turn down healing potions, and if you are dying, he will not heal you. The healing potion. Um, he's 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 a man of God. It's fair to say. Um, a man of God. He thinks that just come on your way, will just come your way, and the only way to avoid it is. Divine intervention. Um, he can appear quite cold and apathetic, but I mean, if you're dying, he'll feel bad for you. Not that you're dying, but just because you know you're you're dying. Not because you're dying, but because it's you're just dying. <laughs> it's the fact yeah, your voice I'm... is fucked is really making this. <laughs> yeah, this is not what George sounds like. <laughs> you should be. And I can try and make this what George sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off to a, a rip roaring start. John. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. You see, Scotty is his name. Uh, he's Dodo. Scotty Doll. <laughs> he's uh 
not real tall, about five and a half feet tall, black hair, tan. He's got some facial tattoos. You'll notice that you get a good look under his uh, fur, the hood of his fur cloak, that he appears to be half elven in nature. Um, he spent most of the trip up here uh, scouting ahead, foraging for food for everyone. Checks in with everybody to see how they're doing. Providing what assistance he can on the weather. Um, you notice he talks quite a bit with the dwarf in the group. They seem to have known each other from before. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, he's uh, prepared to help when, when he can. And uh, yeah, that's it. Nimi. All right. <laughs> yeah, you see, walking with you, a, a triton walking around in a fur coat, head sparkling as bright as the snow around like Mr. Clean. Barbellas is his name. Barbellas is a triton druid with blue skin top them down. And best summarized as a fishman, he's about 5'11", carrying around a somber, sometimes a... Uh, a happy smile carries around a fishbowl with a fish inside. He names it the Fish of Heavenly Wisdom and asks it for advice because he can talk to fish. RG says he'll be with us soon, so I'll let him introduce when he joins. So I guess right now, last but I mean, least. Let's be honest, Ruby. Last but least is you. <laughs> uh, last is the Goliath. Um, slight blue hue to his skin as well. Uh, let me see. I didn't write shit down. There's Make it up as you go beyond. along. Make it up as you go along. <laughs> no, I I want to double check if I wrote it down on the Dini Beyond. Hold on, because. It might not have imported. Otherwise, I'll make it up as well. No, okay. Um, he is a slight bluish hue. He is tall. I would say six six, maybe six eight, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, he is wearing a leather leather coat with a uh, a a what you call it? A Smith's apron uh, over it and a big hammer with him, a, a big maul, slightly oversized for, for most people, but uh, he, it's, 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 it's a smith's hammer, uh, yeah, he's kind of just doing his own thing, <coughs> I don't know, <laughs> what was his name again, Obi, Obi, yep, Obi Trice. No names, no gimmicks. One Kenobi. I went for Eminem and you went for Disney. I see how it is. Okay. <laughs> so we've got Obi, Boppy, and Lavi. Georgie, Scotty, <laughs> and Larry. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be a great fucking year. And, and then Georgie. For you. We're ending the names with E. Lavi, Georgie, Boppy, Obi. <laughs> as it is, as it has been, Icewind Dale has been trapped in a perpetual winter. Ferocious blizzards make the mountain pass through the spine of the world extremely treacherous. As land has not felt the warmth of the sun and with the that, yeah, in about two years, in two years, in fact, I know I said it wasn't very long. Two years sure as fuck don't feel long. In fact, the sun no longer appears above the mountains, not even in what should have been the height of two summers. In the frozen tundra, darkness and bitter cold reign as king and queen. Most of the residents. Do blame Oral the Frost Maiden 
for her winter's wrath. The shimmering aura that weaves across the sky each night is said by some to be her doings. A potent spell that keeps the sun at bay. The Dale folk live in scatterings of settlements known as Ten Towns. The drop off in caravans coming from the south up <clears throat> and between the settlements is never ending. And this never ending winter has left everybody felt feeling isolated. You lose your place for one second. Although each of the town has resolved to appease the Frost Maiden in their own small ways with sacrifices of one kind or another. No respite from this winter's fury has been forthcoming. For people like yourselves, Ten Town is a place for some to test their mettle. For some who live here, it is a place of warmth and harshness. And for you coming from the south, it's a place for heroes to leave their mark on this frigid, blighted land. It's same shit, different day in this gruesome ten towns. Howling wind and bitter cold, foul temperatures and snowy drifts big enough to bury a herd of moose. Today, local taverns are abuzz with news of recent series of killings. Before the murders, the only question in everyone's mind is, will summer ever return to Icewind Dale? Now the question is, who will be the murderer's next victim? Nothing breeds fear and paranoia quite like a murderer with no face. Three cold-blooded murders have been committed in the past month. A halfling trapper in East Haven. A human shipbuilder in Targos. And three days ago, a dwarven glassblower in Bryn Shander. Each victim found with a dagger made of pure ice through their heart. Connection? What is it? What is the connection? The drunken lot, huddled in the tavern, offer no credible ideas. But sitting apart from them is an elderly shield dwarf with a nasty scar across her nose. She looks like she has something worth knowing. Is she sat there smoking her pipe, looking round the room, seeing who's here, what's going on? And every so often, you all seem to catch who she is sitting, and always seems to come back to yourselves. And you're free. I know. <laughs> Anyone? I notice her and... Uh, Don't look at me! And kind of make my way across the room to... To her and um, introduce myself. And, uh... Okay, I notice you've been eyeing us, so just curious as to what you're looking for. What is it about us that draws out your attention? Oh, you're the most sober to start with. So there's that. And you gonna put her hand on 
or hand axe. You and a few others over there, you just don't look like locals. Believe it or not, you're dressed too heavy to be a local. You're from out of town. Would I be correct in my assumption? Well, that would be correct. I've been uh, sent here to investigate some unnatural goings on, but uh, if I get any sense that she might be connected to a faction? She doesn't look like she's connected to any factions, no. She's very much... <clears throat> Pardon me. Very much... I suppose the word I'm looking for would be like, independent contractor. Yeah. So we just got into town. You're correct, from the south. Um, we've heard some uh, disturbing news about some killings. You wouldn't have to know anything more about that, would you? I have my suspicion. And these suspicions are... Well, they're not ones that I can act upon, shall we say. But... What are my manners? I'm just gonna take the pipe out of her mouth and I'm Helm Trollbane. And you are. And Scotty. Scotty don't. Pleasure. The word is pleasure indeed. Offer to buy her another whatever she's drinking and ask if I can have a seat. And if our friend, my friends can join us. She looks over at the table of odd mismatches. I'd vouch for you, and if you vouch for them, then they're welcome. Uh, she starts pouring up little cups. I'll pick out a chair next to the door and most of the others to join us. She looks round and motions the rest of the party over. I take a seat. I join but stay at the back. Is she like um, near a wall somewhere or in the middle of the tavern? Uh, I, I would say definitely 100% by a wall. I'll lean against the wall then and observe and listen. And that was no mere earthquake. <laughs> Archie, hello. I took a moment. <laughs> you said what? I said hello. Hi. I'm, 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 I took a moment before I came in to start making some food in my bastard oven. Uh, cause I, I, I need to eat, and I haven't eaten today. Don't worry man, don't worry, we have literally really only just started, we'll get to your character introduction, but right now you're sitting in a tavern, hearing a bit of murder. I know, right? Fucking murder. Oh, no rush, no rush at all. I'm, I'm drinking deeply from my cup while looking around a little too closely at everything with big eyes. <laughs> I focus at everything I see, not just generally stare. The dwarf leans in. <clears throat> I'm gonna drag this over to the other side so that way I can leer. Sefik Caltro. Yeah, I'll put that in. Don't worry, that fucking blew me. Works for a small travelling merchant company called Torx. Owned and operated by a shady dwarf named Torga Icewain. In other words, just like the town bike this man gets around. He's charming, he makes friends quite easily, and he's also Torga's bodyguard. So my guess is, 
He's good with the blade. His victims come from the three towns that sadly are sacrificing people to the Frost Maiden. It's quite a grisly sight. But this seems to be what's passing as civilised behaviour in Icewind Dale. Maybe the victims found a way to keep their names out of the drawings or some other stuff, but maybe Sephex found out they're cheating. So he's killed them. Maybe. Just maybe he's doing the Frost Maiden's work. I tried to follow them for about a week. We moved from town to town. What a devious little enterprise. But I still my concern. Here's what stuck with me. It's how comfortable he looks in this weather. Look at what you're using all that. Barring, barring you, the fact that you're naked fucking scares me. Everybody else, however. He's dressed up, keeping warm. This man, no scarf, no gloves, nothing. Like the cold doesn't even touch him. <clears throat> Maybe a kiss from the Frost Maiden, indeed, who knows? But, I'm willing to reckon, and I'm willing to pay a hundred. As old pieces for anybody who can apprehend this man, ascertain his guilt, deal with him, preferably without involving the authorities, that would be grand, and when it's done, return to me and I will, I will give you your money as an added bonus. I'll make it a hundred ahead, not just a hundred betwixt. Uh-oh. Ruby, you were saying? I think as he mentions, like, I'll pay you, I'll be kind of perks up. You know, he is, he is, yeah, he is interested in some paid work, you know. Smithing hasn't really been paying off recently, so some money uh, could definitely be useful. This will help uh, start our investigation into this area and what's going on. It's as good a place to start as any. You give us more write down the details about this fella, what he looks like and where we might be able to find him. I'm willing to do this. I'm curious as to why you don't want the authorities involved, however. Because F the Lord's Alliance get involved then it comes down on me and if the Lord's Alliance find out that people are being sacrificed to a god and then things just so happen to get worse because these sacrifices have stopped again that falls on me now I can deal with one or two people in a town hating me Imagine the power that ten separate towns have to bring down upon me. It might be their last action, but I do it with spite. They will haunt my family for five generations with ease. So, uh, no authorities, please. As for where they are travelling through. As stated, the three towns were right there, Matthew. 
right there. I believe one of them is Targos. There we go. They've been travelling through Bryn Shander. Uh, one. East Haven. And Targos. Kind of between their travelling. In which there. direction? In which direction, to? Oh, let's get ready for it. Even or odd? Odd. An eight, even. Let me pull up the map of Icewind Dale. Somewhere, Matthew, there it is. And then, no, 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 maybe, no. There we go. Let's see, so Brinchanda, Targos, and East Haven. It's in a straight line there. So, it's a east to west type deal, is what they're doing. Brinchander being in the middle, East Haven being north east of here, both Brinchander and Targos being north west of here, just down by Mayor Dolgan. You said East Haven, Brinchander, and then Targos, right? Yes. All these maps going to be like real. Dark, but as she unfurls out a map for y'all. And I would also run the assumption that there are people here who doth, in fact, have a map because they're foreigners and everybody knows that when you go to a foreign city, you buy a map. I just have Google Maps. Oh, that, that then incurs roaming data. Come on, the fuck, Ruby. There we go. So we can assume they are going to stop in Bremen next, maybe. If they are going in a straight line. A uh, question for you, Diana. Oui, oui. So, being a, a shipwright himself and being in that community, has he heard of human ship rider, a fellow ship rider being murdered and know him personally in this one here let's see uh There is nothing pulling here in regards to anyone being killed as a ship, ship hand, ship right, you were saying? And I'm just checking some stuff here as well. Yeah, he said one of the murders was a human ship builder in Targos. Alright, I lost connectivity there for a minute. Don't worry, don't worry, just uh... See, uh... Thank you. Ah! Green ship builder in Tarla. There we go. I am... Everywhere here. Um... She hasn't given a name. But well, in the in the community, has there been gossip of a murder? In East Haven, where the whole community? I'm trying to get an idea of where you initially came from. Do my own math. I would argue that you are okay. Da, 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 da. Um.
They're making me think of names. There we go. Wobbly. You inquire. Unless she, unless you know it was a man. It simply went just by a moniker. Krylin. K R Y L E N. Does anyone it sounds familiar? Built many a boats. K R Y. There you go, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Accent, don't worry. I tried to neutralize, but the last time I tried anything where I went, uh. What should I think? Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I usually would try phonetic alphabet, but apparently I'm too fast at that. Um. I'll slow it down and try bring it in a bit more in regards to it. Don't worry, man. Uh. A ship builder by the name of Krylon. Built many of ships. I'd say it's someone that you're familiar with. I'll let you determine your level of familiarity with him. Okay. It's, these are in a straight line, so. I last caught them off when I came here. They were headed towards East Haven and I tailed off towards Goodmead. That was about it. two days ago now. So, whether or not they are still there is a, a question that I cannot answer. As for how this man looks, he is... Oh, well, he's quite immaculate looking, I'll be honest. He's... Middle-aged, spry, dapperly dressed, and dress. I would say he dresses like a noble. Who's enjoying herself, enjoying himself in the sun. Did they mention a race yet? Oh fuck, human. <laughs> right up. I was looking for some quick things that are gonna impact travel. Uh, so... Are there any other questions? In regards to this, I can answer. Oh, well, I want to see most things. No, I will oh. get this job for free. <laughs> I'm down. Uh, well, would it be too much to ask you to? Um, I guess I look. I, I don't know how to, where, where the where to put the marker. Um, I think I missed a little bit before I came in of the explanation. Uh, hunting a man who has been killing people in these towns. The linking of these towns is that they are indulging. I'll use the word indulging. They're indulging in the ritualistic human sacrifice in order to appease the Frost Maiden. Maybe try and make it sunny and not snowing. We know so the that towns are the. Go ahead. Do we know that he killed them for sure, or allegedly, allegedly suspect? That's what. He's a suspect. Yeah, that's what the woman 
is saying here that he's a suspect. Cool. What were you saying? So it was, so it was the towns that were ritualistically sacrificing, and he was going around to those towns killing people, so, so supposedly. Or are we supposing that killing he, was, he the was behind dwarf, the killing for the sacrifice? The dwarf believes that there are people cheating the lottery system. And so oh, he okay. is oh, okay. he is killing the people he believes has cheated it. Or so she suspects. Yeah, so DM, right. who's the murderer? The murderer oh. is Sefek Kaltro. So basically somebody taking justice into their own hands. Yes. Or so they think. Got you. Thank you. So we're hunting Batman. <laughs> so if he is so. killing the lottery cheaters, does that mean that he works for Aurel? Potentially. I mean, we might... Allegedly. Allegations, yes. It could also just be a blood-hungry murderer who is taking an opportune moment. I have no questions. I'm ready to go. Where can we find you when we're done? I'll be here. I will stay in the town of Goodmead. Uh, won't stay directly. I don't know if this is a question. Yeah. My last question is I don't know if this is a question somebody's already asked, or if this is something I just know, or if this is something that I'd be asking our, I guess, uh, quest giver. Um, which town is going to have, or rather, which town is known to be have what, which town is having the next sacrifice, basically? Like, if there is such a schedule. They all happen on the same night. Ah, okay. Thank you. When the moon and when is that? What was the order of the murders? And where? I, I missed that. The order of the murders were... Let's go back to here. There was a... There we go. But mm. went too far. There we go. It was so people are being first question, people are being sacrificed on nights of the new moon. So I would assume that's nights where it's a full moon. No and... new moon. That's when there's no moon. Or like the the first day after an a, a uh... Yeah, if there's no moon. Like, if the dark side of the moon is to watch the Earth, that's when there, it's a new moon. So it's a... First one was the Halfling in East Haven. Then, the Human Shipbuilder in Targos. And then the Dwarven Glassblower in Bryn Shander. So it kind of went to like this. So yeah, we know which villages are doing the sacrifices. Just the three, or there more? Ah, uh, I believe it's just those three. East Haven, then Targos, then Burnshander. Hmm. Okay. When is the next new moon? It's... in the next few days. And we have a lead in East, East Haven. That's where, I, that's where I departed them, yes. 
Okay. Sefik Kalto, and he works for a dwarven merchant company called Torgs. Their leader is a dwarven woman called Torga Icevane. Okay. I think I got it. I don't know whether or not they're working together. I would err on the side of caution. And I would also try to isolate them. Don't isolate them. Oh fuck uh... you. <laughs> oh, don't give me the cold shoulder now. Oh, that was a pretty cool pun. I'm ignoring you now, Ruby. I'm ignoring you now. <laughs> the, uh... Oh, yes, Bryn Shander, East Haven, and Targos are the only three. It was on the page behind. I'm a smart boy. They are the only three. Gee. Imagine reading. Looks at you and... <laughs> Isolate them. Don't... Put them together and question them. Trip them up. Um, you said anything about questioning them? Uh, I'm pretty sure that was part of our mission request to uh, to find them, apprehend them, uh, find some sort of guilt, and then bring them in. I believe we were told to deal with them. If the action calls for it, just do it. Discreetly. That's not correct. Discreetly, don't know the meaning of that word, I'll be honest. Can I just say, this Sephic Caltro's a shit killer. We're literally in a frozen wasteland and he can't think of a good way to cover up a murder. Can we find someone to corroborate the story that we're getting out of this uh, this dwarf here? Seeing as his behavior pattern, actually, let me check my stats before I get this. <laughs> let me check my stats before I make a big brain move. <laughs> well, can I just roll insight? Yeah. Maybe he's trying to send a. Maybe he's trying to send a message. Hmm. Good roll, George. Seems... She seems rather so. confident in her answer. This appears to be the sum of many days' work. Remember, she did follow him of her own omission. And as she told the story to you, it didn't seem embellished. There wasn't any fancy words and changing of tone. It was very Matter methodic. Do you know what she was saying? Oh, the detective saying. work, and um, now she's sending the tech, um, police officers to do the detective's work in arresting the guy. Mm. Arrest she did it. I mean, in the in the way of like crime, crime officers like detectives, um, in, investigate and do stuff, and then send police officers to arrest people. Yeah, so we're a hit squad. Yeah. The white team. <laughs> really. I ask the fish of heavenly wisdom what he thinks. Oh great DM, what does the fish say? <laughs> what does the fish say? What does the fish say? Oh. Wing, 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 wing. Oh um, <laughs> my god, <laughs> that's gonna be my kill boss. <laughs> Lean down and blow out the fish and ask it. Get the. Is it like a telepathic? 
type of talk that you do with the fish? Is it like some Aquaman shit? Or like, do you, put, do you like pull out a bowl and go out, FISH! What's your thoughts? <laughs> uh, I, I think Vavellus like holds up the fish bowl in front of his face, talks to it verbally, <laughs> and like, the, the fish makes like, uh, opens like mouth or something. <laughs> it's, the, fuck, it's the imagery of this now, this frozen wasteland, this man pulls out a fish in a bowl and starts talking to it. How is the fish not frozen yet? Salt water. Yeah, like, uh, Lawrence will go look at, that, look at that fish in the water and say, how is that thing not dead? I don't know. Do you fish frozen? <laughs> or are they like frogs they can come back? I think... There's one that... fish that can survive on our... On the... <laughs> yeah, the moon skipper. <laughs> What the? Is the fish gonna yeah. speaks back? For everybody, just gonna watch. like there's just a bunch of little bubbles that seem to come up out of this bowl. Bubbles, you hear the fish. I think that the ship right has died. It's worth your time, sailor. And it gives like a really odd looking blink. I, I'm sorry, I need to turn out. I'm seeing the fucking goldfish go and blob at me. <laughs> I can't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck rolled this fish's intelligence stat? Lobella's <laughs> turns. The fish has. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> this ship has crashed. What the fuck am I parting with? Turning. Let's go. <laughs> fish I've or some plastic fish <laughs> and a retarded fish owner. <laughs> fish. Just so you're Lawrence aware. Is, 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 is just self-aware enough to, to know he's a bit too stupid to question this. <laughs> so, just just so we're all aware, Fish have an official D&D stat block. And he's Thank higher you. than this. <laughs> he's higher than this. I swear, if a, if a fish is canonically smarter than me. <laughs> the fish is wise. It's stupid, but it's wise. <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean, he just might saw the white bitch in the bowl. <laughs> Ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. And how, how wise is your fish? Oh, wise beyond your years. I'm pretty Wiser old, than I'm any. Old. Look at this. Look at this fish. Look at its face. Just a big, chunky <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> look how wise this face is. Yeah, isn't yeah. isn't that a great yeah, gift? Was... Oh. Yeah, did you just say the fish is wise with a seven <laughs> wisdom? <laughs> Wiser than any of us. Look how smart it looks. Uh, given it that it's been through you, looks through your soul. Given that it's been with Bapples for most of his life, it. Oh, because Babel it? sounds like he's a fountain of wisdom. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm Fucking gonna roll to see how. If I Bobby feel from Forrest but, Gump. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna he's, fucking roll. The fish, the fish is. To the outside world, the fish is like, ah, oh, fuck, this is dumb. But it's been with Bapples, you know, most of its life and most of his life, so. They are. For lack of better word, they are attuned to each other. No, the fish is not an attunable magic item, guys. Just that's the word. They're an echo chamber. Yeah. Look, Lawrence isn't gonna do anything, but he's he's a little bit angry at that fish right now. You, you don't it's know not a very uppity is... fish. You don't know what the fish is saying. Only Waffles knows what the fish is saying. 
If this fish could speak yeah, common... Yeah, is just stupid enough to believe that the fish could have told him that. I would end up speak with animals to understand this fucking fish. <laughs> I'm taking it as my eldritch invocation. <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, I want to uh, try to roll animal handling to see if I could talk to the fish. <laughs> to which Gark has asked, "Why does a fish have dark vision but a cat doesn't? And why does a fish have a strength score of two? I mean, probably yeah, the strength score is so low, probably because it can be used as a weapon. So if you slap someone with a fish." Should, it does need to have a strength score. <laughs> how much bludgeoning damage does a fish do? Depends how fast your Mini Cooper's driving. <laughs> Holy mm. fuck! That's, that's like an old, that's like an old advert. Don't worry. Yeah, no, I'm not from that age. But yeah, let's <laughs> stare the fish back in the eyes and see if I see any intelligence in there. As you stare into the bowl and stare into the fish as the fish is going <laughs> And as you look and stare and the fish stares back going <laughs> You come to the startling realisation that if you stare into the abyss long enough The abyss stares back Oh my god Are you seeing the fish's soul? Or a reflection of yourself in this fish. Yeah, I'm real philosophical here in session one. Obi is just looking <laughs> at his hammer and just like mumbles to himself, Have you hit me again? Be careful. Some men gone mad after looking at the fish of heavenly wisdom. I'm gonna go back to my drink, but still try not to keep my eyes off that shifty fish. Obi is on his, like, seventh, eighth drink at this point, trying to get drunk. Because, oh my fucking god, he doesn't want to be here anymore. <laughs> the harder I drink, the less I remember that that fish can talk. But yeah, as he was <clears throat> sat there, drinking away, uh... Does anybody have any other questions for the fine dwarven lady? Is she single? Roll a charisma check. The disadvantage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, she's happily married with 12 kids. <laughs> That's the best fucking roll I could have got. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as good as when Gark rolled a natural negative one. Yeah. But yeah. Wait. Any oh. other questions? Um, I don't have any. So we're oh, heading yeah. to East Oven next, I guess. Oh, fuck yeah, hell. Uh, I feel like the murder is going to be here, though. Hmm? Could oh. I, I... I lost track of what we're doing. I was thinking about the fish. <laughs> of course you were. Can everybody roll me a d10? Were you trying to feed it to, uh... <laughs> no. Don't give me ideas. Bad. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you were just thinking about sushi, weren't you? I'm always thinking about sushi. <laughs> Let's see, what is my numeros? So, first number is five. Then a two. Go. Go. Let's at least spread out the array of numbers to be evening up. Oh no no, I was just waiting for the first number to come up on a list. But rather than have someone sit there and oh, roll and roll and roll and roll. So now I know. I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Now I know where the murderer is. Oh I know. God. This woman doesn't. You should tell us. It would be funny. 
Nah, I like to watch it's you been... suffer, and then yeah, I suffer for. I don't know why is good mead circled. Uh, good mead is where yous are. Oh, yous are in the tentacle. I'm a little bit stupid. I thought somebody had the notion like I did that he was going to end up there. It's okay. I'll get the little pinpointers in eventually. But did you draw a penis on purpose? No. No, it is not. That <laughs> That's got to be the smallest head I've ever seen. <laughs> now just going to delete uh, that. <clears throat> and she sits with her drink. Well, whenever you're ready, I'll be here waiting on you. How far is it to East Haven from here? Uh, dun, 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 dun. See, is my grid set up correctly? No, willing it's, to bid money on it. It's set up as correct as it possibly could be. The further out you get, the more in check it gets. We're not there. We're not in cargoes. Oh, hit tab. Why did I do that? I meant to hit Q, I think it was. Or was it control? No miles. Yeah, about eight, nine miles, yeah. Oh, we can make that in half a day. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Am I missing something? Oh, um, no let's see. Well, that's... We got overland travel, sweet. Oh, so overland travel for years. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's worse than difficult terrain. Every hour, I thought it's going to be best for every four hours you travel a mile. What? what? An hour? That's pretty Is slow. <laughs> Is there not a road? That's on the road. How many hours can we travel a day? Uh, per day. I think D and D is. Is that like right? What was that, sorry? It's usually eight hours or something, isn't it? Believe yeah, so. Good thing I done this thing where I kept a D and D Beyond page open just to type in travel to not get the rules on travel any time. Let's see. Oh, travel. Third option down. That's no traveling pace yes. out of the abyss. No. Mm. I think it's like eight hours, but how many miles in a day? That's two. I think eight hours of travel a day, right? Eight so hours of four so hours one mile. Back. Yeah. Eight divided by four is two. So, um, at a fast pace, you can travel 30 miles a day. At four miles an hour. So at a fast pace. Seven and a half hours. Yeah, a fast pace is probably going to take about seven hours, so a whole day with a negative five to your passive perception to get to East Haven. Oh, shit. I think either way, I think it's just got normal pace, yeah? Wait. Did it take us a month to get to Goodmead? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think you've done the calculation wrong. Have I potentially? I'll be honest. So, it's, have. so if it's seven and a half hours, so if it's thirty miles a day, yeah, yeah. and it's four miles an hour, right? Mhm. Mm so it's seven and a half hours to go thirty miles, meaning you travel for seven and a half miles a day, mean that we can travel one point seven five miles a day. What? So is that actually going to take us like? Five days. What? 
No, because we're thinking about travel time. Because Frost, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden gave us a, a distance of a mile every four hours. So we need to find out how long we can travel for. It's Daddy's Silly Triangle. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me break this down. Okay. So normal equals 30 miles a day. Yeah. Four miles. And that's four miles per hour. Hopefully something's yeah, no, popped up on your So sheet. what we do is we do Dave, 30. Yeah. Four but it ain't, equals it ain't seven traveling fifteen hours per day. Fifteen hours a day. See, I was doing your I was doing your thirty miles and then just dividing it by four. Yeah, that's fifteen. So your thirty miles a day, divide that by four makes seven and a half, so it would take like just over a day to get to East Haven. Okay, that's better. It may potentially, who knows, benefit you to try and find if there are any other ways to speed that up. Hmm. What kind of mounts do you use around here? What? Do you use horses and sleighs? Jeez, let's find a different way to get there faster. Dog sleds and axe beak. Dog sleds and axe beak. Yar yar. Axe beak, yes. They are. <laughs> axe beaks are a thing, yep. Uh, there is a stat block for them as well, so I can actually get your photos. The people who have been in this town long enough will know. Uh, this is not the image that the book gives, but it's close enough. Okay. Riding... I raised a, uh, an axe big kick in my previous campaign. Found an egg under a bed, kept it warm and got an axe big baby out of it. A shiny one. <laughs> Can I buy a Pegasus for 20 gold? Oh, here's the image for Pegas it. Yeah. Pegasus. Don't use that. I prefer to package friends. But the, we had a random loot table thingy going, I think, and I said, Can I look under the bat? Roll for, roll. So I rolled for it and got a tiny egg. So, these things are here. Um. <laughs> they are purchasable. For how much? I don't know. <laughs> well, we gotta find a place that sells them. I live in Scotland, not the ten towns. Although it feels like a ten towns, let's be honest, about snow and fucking rain. No, well, it's come here. Let's find a local livery stable and uh, see if they have any. And then as you head on out into the town of Goodmead. I've got to go back and then just pull pages. Worry not, remember I am always prepared and vigilant. Oh, by the way, don't rangers also get a feature that reduces travel time? Later in level. Favorite, favorite um, terrain? Yeah. No, I think it's to do with roving. It's also a true shame that we're not all rangers. <laughs> cool. Page 78. I'm looking for here. 78. 73. Close enough. Well, 76. 4. 3. Town of Woodmead. Let me pull up the Goodmead map. Or use, and I'll throw some tokens down as well because I'm feeling beautiful. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have here the dynamic tokens: one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So, you got a little blue ring, you zoom right in, and when you take damage, you'll flash. Damn. I know, can, right? Can I don't hit, uh, what's her name? So, <laughs> Levy. <laughs> here. This particular uh, area. Good mead. Population, about a hundred. It's rather friendly. You've come to notice that since you've been here. They are rather friendly around here. They have no leader at this moment in time. It does, however, have a heraldry. Her that's a word. Heraldry. Herald. Her <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it is this a dark brown drinking mug made of cut off section horn, an antler mantle added upright and centered on a white field, representing the town's mead exports and its snowy cold climate. And. Yeah. Please don't tell me. Oh, I think. Uh... What's up? Cool. No, I, I thought this was going to be one of those places where the books like, oh, by the way, they just sacrifice people, but no. No. Uh, for those of you who have been here in Icewind Dale for a period of time, you know that the town of Goodmead, after a certain point in the night, no longer light fires nor braziers or any form of light as their sacrifice to the Frost Maiden. Instead, they all huddle up real close for one, one of Uncle Jimmy's big cuddles for the rest of the night. Mm. Oh my god, they're penguins. Penguins? I love penguins. Does use all. Yes. Walking around, yeah. I was say, I've asked somebody where we can find a mode of transportation to get from here. East Haven. Be it a beast of burden or dog sled or and whatever. Walks toward even a local a figure in cold weather clothing kind of walks out of some wood that narrows it down <laughs> slung over his back are some animal traps and it appears to have a panicked fox in it as he looks at you you can always get a set of snowshoes the animals are and the claws, they're 50 gold ahead. And you won't find yourselves no friends nor discounts here. You'll be 50 gold at best. But you need to get yourself some very specially named shoes. Or considerably less. A crampon. So a what, sorry? Crampon. Cram I thought you said a tampon. Crampons are for ice climbing, not for walking through snow. This Can has them just... as both your snowshoes and your ice. So it's a multi-purpose. through our foot? That's, that's it. You just, you just go ahead and, you know, fill on Jesus Christ yourself like that. I am a holy man. <laughs> but for ten gold, you'll no, not go wrong. I guess that's a eruption. How many of those are you? I am the broke. I have no money either. I haven't got a need for it. 
I do not have enough money. Very, how much money? Uh, Fetty. Fifty. Fifty. Fetty. Yep. Uh, huh. And how good are these shoes? Uh, they make walking in the ice considerably easier. You know, we can walk up the ice, uh, up the lake, since it's frozen solid. You practically in double your of... pace. Ah, okay, perfect. I can buy... How many are how much? I got 15. Hmm. That would be a single set of the snowshoe crampons. I'll take a set. Can we haggle? Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot. Um, <laughs> I'll take a set for ten gold pieces. It's not me, it'd be uh, Spike Room yeah. 2, personally, but if you would be willing to do me a favour, I'd be more than willing to put in a good word. What do you say? What's, What's the favour? Starts on zipping his pants. Freezes off, falls off. Spare the dying. I was <laughs> checking the traps. I found the militia's skulls and chests. They were stove in. I'll stop you right there. I'll just pay the 15 gold. <laughs> You're just increasing no. your own price. Fuck doing all that shit. Nah. <laughs> I'll take 15 gold. What did you say that you check in your traps? You found what? The militia's skulls and chests stove in. I've never heard it. I assume that means caved in. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard that word before in my fucking life. To a stove you cook on. You cook in a stove. Yeah. Let them cook. Apparently. Mm. Um, in Scottish places, it's also a word for stewed, hence stovies. Whoa. I could go some stovies. I love stovies. Deep in the woods, amid the snow-covered pines, I found the remains of five militia members who seem to have been cloaked to death. New fallen snow has already begun to settle around the corpses. It's real Game of Thrones vibes here, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna make I like a would. Lannister and just well, pay. <laughs> it's real suspicious, but I don't have the I don't have fifteen gold. And and Lawrence's uh, bread and butter is uh, is is hurting things. Um, I feel inclined to investigate this as well. For... I'll get the smith to lower it down to five gold for you. Given there were Our five flat. militia members. If you can find out what happened to them. How far out of town were the, did this? Did you find this? Oh, it's so good. Uh, it's about a mile into the woods up north. As you look in, the, the snow is a bit thinner in the woods due to how tall the trees are in the canopy. So it's a, a lighter walk in the woods. More akin to walking through the towns, but slightly lighter again. 
I would say walking through the woods it's going to impose no difficult terrain whilst walking through the woods. Or no extremely difficult terrain, rather. Alright. What do y'all think? I'm all for it. So, so am I. <clears throat> I can for pay the shoes. For th I can pay for three people's shoes. If we really don't want to do this. Let's say save your money. Let's just do it. Yeah, this here was the pub that you were all in, by the way. Map doesn't make that very clear, but you were in here. A okay. tavern simply called Purveyor of Good Meats Honey Wine. There anyone else who's willing to do something I can see if the blacksmith's got them in it's I mean fifteen gold that works well for me. Fine, thank you. <clears throat> for those of you who are interested up that way and just keep heading, you'll find them eventually. For everybody right. else, the blacksmith's on the pier. I'm gonna look at everyone and say, I've, "I've got to find out what's going on here." Of course, he's gonna start walking away into the tavern before he just kind of knocks his boots on the side of the the building and then walks in, and shakes off, and hears some cheers and jeers as he walks in with his pelts and the little fox on his back. As these two head up, I'm seeing two moving up, three going nowhere, and one moving down. Oh. <laughs> so we have to go into the woods. It's up to you. You can uh, relax in tavern a nice cup of mead if you want. We're on, we're on a, a town called Good Mead. The wood. I can lead us. I know these woods like the back of my hand. Okay. Since I practically live them. You live in the woods? Yes. I prefer not to live anywhere near civilization. Oh, we can just give you a look up and down. Yeah, the tracks. Okay, so this is, there's merit to that. I mean, Maybe if you, if you ask around... You would hear rumors of a witch in the of the wilds, and that's her. Ask uh, Lavinia if the area he, the guy described. Do you think you could find it real quick? I mean, if he uses roads, then no. But what's in the woods, so... I can try. Yeah. Let's go investigate. Do we need to roll for something? As you are... Making your way through. Making me way? Jack, you approach a blacksmith. As he is knocking out some stuff for shoes and he's you approach. He looks up and Morning or evening. Who knows? How can I help? I'd like to buy some shoes. <laughs> Looks up. I need them. He goes into the 
the back for a little moment and comes out with a set. Uh, 15 gold. And these are the spiky shoes. Aye, aye, they'll get you from through the ice and they'll walk you through the, the snow with these. I'll take them. Right, you can increase your bits. Uh, my boots? Yeah, your boots. Thought I was getting his boots. No, 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 I've got to attach these to your boots. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give him my boots and... Is there a fire somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a black yeah, I would like to stand <laughs> beside the fire. <laughs> as close to the fire as possible. <laughs> Is he... Knocks these little spikes into your shoes. Kind of gives you a nice. Does he have to roll for this? Nah, he's good. He's oh, what to bless him! An artisan at this shit. As he knocks it out, it takes about 10, 15 minutes before you get your nice spiky, ice climby, snow walky shoes, and he puts them back on. Wouldn't it, would I be able to make my own? Spikes, giving the material and giving uh, the material and shoes, sure, potentially. Yeah. Okay, just keep it in mind. I would also need a forge, an anvil. You put them on, and you, you feel you feel this maybe a little, tiniest bit taller. You should put them on, but as you start walking through the snow. You don't feel as uneasy as you did. Like, you were getting used to how uneasy you were feeling, but this is the most solid you've felt in the longest time. You start to walk across all of the... all of the snow and ice, and... even as strong winds come... you don't feel the need to brace as much. These are lovely, thank you. Uh... How much would it be for a pair of skates? Ah, uh, don't make skates. Why? <laughs> Just in case I wanted to go skating. Um, not something I do, sadly. No, no, we really needed to. We no. should. It'd be fun. You know, frozen yeah. lakes, ice. Fun. Hmm. I don't remember that. Uh, anyway, cheers. Bye bye for now, sweetheart. Um, I'm out to chill with him while they're doing their thing and just pick his brain about his craft. You certainly could. Awesome, an extra five gold pieces for the pleasure. Is you... I don't... I'm not going to pretend I know what you're doing with this guy, so I'll leave everything to everybody's imagination. For the rest of you. Fade. We just fade to black. <laughs> fade to black as you all are now walking. Have been for some time following through this particular area. Good news is it does not ask you to make any checks, which is good, good, good so far as you come to the bodies. You can tell that... Wait, where, where are we going to the woods? To five bodies yeah. in the woods. Five bodies in the woods. Oh, I'm sorry, what's that? Five dead bodies. The five militia members killed in the woods. Okay. He watches, they are... Yeah, I see you watch, you see as the snow has covered quite a bit of them now, but... This isn't a case that someone has done this with a heavy stone or such. Something much larger and much bigger has caved these people in. Huge. It's not just that the head is caved in. 
is that in the head being caved in, the neck has snapped simultaneously. It's a brutal and grisly scene. As you look round, you can see that the area has been disturbed greatly by this. So, it looks like the bodies of the militiamen, their necks were, the cause of death was their neck being snapped? Heads being caved in or chest being caved in, but the ones whose head has been caved in, whatever force has done it, has snapped the neck simultaneously. Alright. Like their head was bashed inside their body? Yeah, I had a gif somewhere. Can't find it. So, like a big Wait. bludgeoning, this could have done it. Uh, I put a little gif in the Discord which best summarizes it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking love them. <laughs> <laughs> I look around, look for the cracks of who might have the culprit, see if there was one or more. Make a survival check. Can I also make that check with this? Guidance. Maybe it's like Do this. I know of any big creatures in the woods that I tend to avoid? I'll give you a survival check with advantage. Cool. That's alt, right? Uh, wee oui, wee. Oui. Well, the good news is for everybody involved, the DC was 12. Yay! <laughs> Obi's just kind of holding their hammer behind their back and like whistling, looking away. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it, you see, as you're looking around and getting it all in, there, there are tracks, and they are large. Each track is about half the size of the humans. Half. You ascertain that whatever has done this belongs to a family of giant or giant kin. Oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this. Ooh. Does Babellas know of any giant kin in the snow or winter? Is it common knowledge that uh is there, like, a boogeyman in the, in the forest? There are... talk of giant kin. You particularly know that way off in the sea... This is going to be easier if I do this, I'll be honest. Do, 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 do. Wrong map. Wrong map, wrong map. Right map. The Sea of Moving Ice. All the way over in the northwest. There is a small island. A small island of ice giants but that's some ways away and ice giants aren't really known for living here in the woods there have been talk of giants throughout Icewind Dale or giant kin also small giants also known as Goliath but they don't get nearly as big also yetis yetis ogres all known to also live in the forest. Yeah, I tend to avoid. I tend to avoid those. I mean, they're pretty loud, so I know when they're ne coming near. So I tend to move around a lot. You also yeah. know. Uh, Lavinia and Wapples. And by extension, Lawrence. 
Very big. Very big. I'll put that in. I mean, also, he can just say it himself, but yeah. Vergib. A type of giant. Not really associated as Frost, Hill, or such. None of your typical archetypes. These are powerful creatures. By all other metrics. Okay, so I guess we just report back. That's all right. Yeah, I think we tell how many there were and how long ago, which way they went. It does go further on. It does. Quite some bit on. Is your destiny, is you going to try to gauge it? It is... Uh, good few hours, but they do just go on almost indefinitely out into the haze that is the snow. Well, feel like so they were just traveling fast and came across them. Yeah. You report back and let them know what the what appeared to have done this, and that they need to uh, plan accordingly for another encounter. I mean, do you do we want do we also want to take back their bodies so that their families can, you know? We should. I can put them in my in my ring. Compartment. So we don't have to carry them. Okay. Let's do that. We're going to return the bodies to town and let them know what the, what we found. Because right. you guys want to track down some ice turns getting. Get it on. Just yes. linking that there so that I can so that I use the resource. Yeah. Uh may I say Blapples for the quick, safe and easy of it. Um if you're gonna use guidance, just say guidance. You don't need to take it off. Um sadly I'm used to people saying guidance and just using it. So you say guidance and I know what's on there. You don't need to pick that up. So you're fine there. But it's use Round up the bodies. Use watches. They all magically fit into a ring. Some of you are like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dion. I don't want to interrupt, but uh, you want me to say guidance before I roll, right? Just, just in future, if you're going to use guidance, just say guidance. Or if you're going to give it to someone, just say guidance. Say it before the roll. Oh, um, yeah, I did. But you don't need to also, take it off. Also, you don't need to take it off. Also, if you if we know we're going into combat, you can roll guidance for for initiative as well. It is an ability check. Very nice. Not if we're surprised or we if we're going into combat before we know it, but if we know we're going into combat and you know, if you, it, then you can. If roll. it feels like it's about to go down, guide up. As you make your way back to the town, walking through, down past the, what's this place called, the, the pub, it is relatively quite dark as you see at the end of this day, George and the blacksmith giving each other a little nod before going off. As George strolls up to yourselves, you all watch as the blacksmith blows him a little kiss behind his back. Does George, like, wipe his mouth? <laughs> Scratches his ass. He won't tell you why, but... 
Let's just say I'm 10 gold richer. <laughs> 20 gold is 20 gold, you know? It's the voice man it is every time. <laughs> but you know what to say, 20 gold is 20 gold. As you get back to the tavern and back to each other, you enter back into thy tavern. And as you do, you see everybody, including that one person with the little fox in the little cage your dwarven friend and everybody else seems to look at you with just a a glinting of suspicion as you're back in he turns round mug in hand you're back so soon what's uh what did you find We found that uh, your militia members we brought their bodies back to you for your for their families appear to have been set upon by some ice giants. Ice giants went away to the northwest. We tracked them for a while, but they appear to be far, far ahead of us. Could also be a yeti. Hmm. Or yeti. Sounds rather problematic for some. I'll, uh, how much? What do you mean by how much? How much to take care of it? Shoes. Hundred gold. Shoes and a hundred gold to kill a potential ice giant. <laughs> Everybody in the tavern starts to laugh. That sounds like a done deal. A hundred gold ahead, please. You really think you're capable of taking out an ice giant? Just uh, out of curiosity. I've never seen an ice giant. They're big and they're traveling packs. So maybe we should wait a bit until we're ready to deal with them. I mean, you saw what they did to the militia. And yes. they're trained, right? I would assume they're yes, trained. they were. Yeah. They were trained. As trained up as anybody else could be, but trained nonetheless. If, uh, we're, we have some look, something to look into in East Haven. When we come back, perhaps we'll be able to handle this for you. Of course, of course. I reckon that we'll just stop sending militia there for a while and maybe we'll hunt out elsewhere. Definitely keep your wits about you when you're out away from town. You too, you too. And we expect to yeah, look friend. See you back here soon. <laughs> Enjoy. I suppose. Uh, About those uh, crampons, we've investigated this for you. Hmm. You're right. You do as you deal. The notion's on back out to the blacksmith. Gives a little nod and walks back out into the streets. Doesn't bother to put on his jacket or such, just immediately runs on out over to his shop once more and unlocks the door. 
at this point, it's also taking you a moment to realise, for those of you who have dark vision, the world is in grayscale right now. I don't. I'm blind. I do. Then for, for you, you're only seeing about five foot in front of you, but you are noticing a distinct lack of light. That's of course I would not have a distinct lack of light if I don't have dark vision. <laughs> but even off in the distance. Mm. But as you, after a moment, he comes back and... Gives everybody a set of crampons, you know, sits these down and drives some nails through some shoes to put these on and make sure they are secure. He comes to yourself, Lavinia, and... Hello, hi, and welcome to the advert. So this is probably going to be a good time to go ahead, pause, maybe take a break, however... We do have a few little things that we should discuss. So, firstly, we are still available on Patreon and we are still available on Coffee. Links are in the description. Uh, there is now some stuff up there that you can buy and also get for free. Just a kind of way to support and all the rest of it. And I will be adding more stuff as updates come to the map making software. So, do keep a little lookout for that. Now, once again, we are still partnered with Adventure on. Their link is in the description if you want to play D&D. With absolutely no strings attached, uh, be that with some one shots, some fun little games or even some smaller campaigns by all means just join below a link in the description and uh, you may see games run by myself so the schedule we've had to write this down so firstly here's the times 8 p.m central european 7 p.m gmt 2 p.m eastern standard 1 p.m central standard and 11 a.m pacific standard for all the games you're about to hear, that is the days that they will go live on YouTube where you can watch the videos. Now on Monday, it's Icewind Dale Rain with the Frost Maiden with some familiar faces. On Tuesdays, we have Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. On Thursdays, we have a level 1 through 20 Vecna Eve of Ruin with some other little homebrew and some official modules in there as well. So keep a little eye out on that one. And on every second Saturday, we have Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk where I am the player and not the DM. That one is going swimmingly. And now I'm going to pass it over to Past Me with the longer hair to tell you about Dungeon the Mad Mage. Now, for our live games, we have Dungeon the Mad Mage. Now, if you are in the US, that is on a Friday night. And if you're basically anywhere else in the world, it's a Saturday morning. So uh, if you are in the US, it is 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're anywhere else in the world, such as myself, that's 1 a.m. UK GMT, 2 a.m. Central European Standard Time, and 9 a.m. Hong Kong Time, because uh, Ronan is on that time, so we'll include it for uh, anyone in that time zone. So yeah, uh, that about is everything. Let's get back to it. Got any shoes? I don't need them. I have hobbit feet. <laughs> does that, that out of care? Does that make sense? Like hobbit feet? Halflings were sturdy. halflings were initially supposed to be that, so it does kind of make sense. Yeah, so I don't need them. Jesus sat down in the shade of the tree. Also, um, whenever anyone comes near Lavinia, they can. They feel hot. Like there's a steady 30 to 35 degrees Celsius warmth surrounding her. For my American 15. friends. <laughs> yep. That there is. Uh, in the region of 90 Fahrenheit. Yeah. So it's pretty warm, like summer, summer weather warm. Fucking some of them. foot around her. Degrees. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, ninety-five degrees Fahrenheit is what it specifically states. Uh, it's pretty hot. That doesn't. And when we walked in the wood, you could see like um, ice melting when when that wherever she walked, like 
melting away. That doesn't negate the difficult terrain, sadly. Doesn't matter. I mean, she also has 25 feet of movement, so that's <laughs> still difficult for her. <laughs> and she's small. He's gonna look around and... I guess someone carries the child. Either way. Is he... Guy stands there, four nails, a hammer, and some crampons in hand. Well, he just walks back to his table like a spare brick, and puts them down and starts drinking again. So I'll just remember now that everybody has crampons. Yay! Bar <laughs> Alpha. Yeah, because I can't put crampons on my feet. Not with that, actually. You can find another way to get them attached to your feet. Leather Duct strap. Tape. Duct tape. Uh, we even need crampons. Is it the time of the month or something? Ah, oh, I hate you. <laughs> he looks at you. Do you uh, plan on staying the night, or are you headed out right now? Is it night? It's, it's, a, bit hard hard to... yeah. it's a bit hard to tell, but the sun has technically vanished from the sky. Oh, I definitely said the night. Yeah. Stay the night. You're gonna... Looks round. The general consensus and decorum is that... For bringing back the bodies, you are given the three nights rest here before you all head out in the morning. Now, for those of you, I've got to go all the way back again. Whoever designed this book needs kicked in the bollocks, or maybe I just need to print stuff off. <laughs> For those of you who are with snowshoes crampons, you now walk at half a mile per hour. Yay! Yay! Essentially, meaning you can get between Goodmead and East Haven in one day. <laughs> okay. Or the quick and ease of it all, you arrive any I ain't gonna like roll on no fucking tables right now. Half those tables will kill you. Coward. Half those tables are owl bears or polar bears, and you're level one. So? We've just I introduced win. you. I'd win. Uh, no, no we mem win. remember when you said you'd win against Power Word Kill? How'd that turn out for you, Ruby? I'd win. You haven't seen me angry yet, okay? <laughs> you won't like Not me. Not when I see I'm red. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's dance. As you all arrive in East Haven. Fuck me, I gotta get the East Haven page now. Oh, thanks. 62. Oh, you were all up for it an hour ago. What's changed? I don't know. He's just hard. You arrive in East Haven? You know. Got my crampons. I am um, regretting every choice I've ever made <laughs> when it comes to you. <laughs> uh. Should have, should have used the roll table, you know? You arrive in East Haven. The best way to describe this is like stepping into Icewind Dale's Pass. This is a large town in comparison to where you came from. You can see that as you look around. And it's ancient. Old. It's a... Uh, a good example of how the town used to be centuries ago. 
since then it's got a little more drib and drab but it's grown and reinvented itself you can see there are old buildings next to newer buildings akin to seeing a sandstone building right across the road from a red brick building oh my god we're in yeah. london there is a rather large population here however but you start to walk on through look around it is rather late at night news soon come to small area you should do you look round a crowd has gathered a large crowd as you watch you see a built up pile of wood As the crowd murmurs, talks amongst themselves. Soon, two larger men come out. Are they boyfriends? They have a large pole. Do they have a flag on the pole? Tied to said Is it pole. Colored? Tied to said pole seems to be. Is it fags with flags? A human. <laughs> Fact that you're calling them. No, no, no. It's fags with fags. As you watch. It's like a bundle of sticks. <laughs> crowd seems to jeer and cheer as this man on a stick is brought out to the pyre and as it's placed down into the ground his eyes are covered his mouth is filled and you can tell that very recently his fingers have all been cut off and the crowd screams You they scream? Want, they want this man dead. Is he a thief? He watches. Soon. After a moment. One man pulls out a torch. And he ignites it. And as he does, he holds it up and he watches numerous people with torches ignite from the torch. And as they do, <laughs> as you hear the muffled screams of a man burnt alive on a pyre. <laughs> Dutch. <Touch. laughs> You're walking into the fire. You walk in into the fire. Because I'm a death uh, cleric, I have a range of. <laughs> I think it's 60 feet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> this man oh, watches no. as someone is being killed and he's like. Nah, it's for the dying. No, no, sorry, I think it's I think it's the grave domain. Yeah, no, I just get to hit two people with necromancy. Uh, sorry, my apologies, my apologies, wrong subclass. <laughs> I take it back. The homophobia in twenty twenty four goes crazy. Can I just add to the fire with sacred flame? <laughs> sure. 
as I yes. as I dong my bell. Send him up with a prayer. As he is burnt up, and as they do, a woman turns to him with like reverence in her eyes, this fever. Yes. Yes. Well done. You understand? And she grabs your hand and raises it up. You start hearing these people praying to Oral. Is you going to just yeah. stand there dumbfounded like, what the f- I'm going to join in the chant. And then R.L. You... R.L. R.L. <laughs> You do you hear as the town speaker goes up. As the body still burns, that smell permeates the air. You hear. But the public execution of Dazan. Delta, Zulu, Alpha, Alpha, November. A human wizard who tried to disguise himself. He was recognised and arrested for crimes that he had inflicted upon the folk of the Dale. He was bound, gagged, blinded and mutilated. That way he could not use any of his magics. And they executed him. As the winds fanned around, he lit up quick with little to no accelerants. And yes, as he burns away, the most grim thing that you've ever seen comes to be. You watch as this entire town gathered starts to get closer and closer to the fire to warm themselves oh i wish leslie was here <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's leslie this is a very going. poorly disguised offering He's a friend from another this life. No. <laughs> He's a friend from This ain't no offering. Are you saying that in character, RJ? Oh, no, no. Well, actually, um, yeah, no, 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 I'm not. Not there. Then I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. During a moment, a <clears throat> woman in a bidet. A woman bedecked in a tailored coat and fur hat approach from behind as these are all almost crowd crushed into this huddle of people now humming and eating themselves up. A rather familiar looking woman, Scotty, I will say. Mm -hmm. She looks. <laughs> I'm. Sure, this may seem just a little crazy to you, but he deserved it. Better a criminal be put to public execution than an innocent to be served up in a lottery, would you not agree? Yes. Is that Indra? Yes. Is that you? It is, and it's been a been a, a while. It has. Why are you here? Well, the Enclave is me here to investigate some of the left natural goings on. Uh, oh, two, two years late, I see. Yeah. How long have you been... Uh, here in East Haven. Oh, 
five, maybe more. It's been hard to tell with the blotting out of the sun. So what did that guy do? Why did the, what the grizzly execution him? I ain't... murdered a few people who had helped us in the past. He's... Mm. This isn't an act of vengeance before you judge. It's not on me to judge. This is a... Two birds with one stone. It just so happened that he he'd done things and he was set to be executed anyway. So execute now, save later. In the why are you here? prayers to all? Well, no, like I said. The Enclave sent uh, me and a couple of my compatriots to investigate what's going on up here. It seems unnatural. Uh, the the prayers to Oral is what is that all about? This doesn't seem like a town who worships Oral. Seems counterintuitive. Peace, your God. Somehow, I suppose. Try as hard as you'd like. We. Or kill prisoners and there are other towns out there who have taken what little food they can grow and they just leave it out by the woods as an offering it's it's all a bit maddening I reckon you would rather sit in somewhere warmer. How about we head over to the White Lady for some drinks, some food, and well, some heat. Unless anybody wishes uh, to watch the body burn. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good with that. Let's get yeah, a drink with something great. Have some questions. Maybe we can talk more. <clears throat> then, as you all head into the wait, Lady Inn, unless anybody wishes to do anything else. Negative. No. Yo, yo, yo. No, thank you. Fucking Mrs. Doubtfire over here, I love it. This old, musty inn, named after a local legend known as the White Lady. The White Lady is a rumoured ghost who walks on Lack Danningshire. I'm really hoping that's how it's pronounced. She haunts the spot where, presumably, her rich husband drowned. Legend has it he was a halfling. A self-styled bard is kept around in the inn as a entertainer. He plucks on his little lute whilst recounting tales of the white lady's husband. A minister who kept treasure in a heavy locked chest. He's all come in. There is a small crowd gathered around one area. He's come in. It's nice. I want to say warm, but it's only slightly warmer than it was outside. Fire roars on one side. There are barrels of ale along the walls. Numerous 
mismatchings of seats. Everybody is still wearing their heavy cloaks. Off to one side, by the windows, there is a crowd gathered. Off to the other side, as everybody smattered around and the bard picks upon the loot. The captain sits you down. I don't suppose you could help us on a small issue then. Whether it's beneficial to yourself or not, I can't really say. But it may be beneficial to us. Well, we may be able to uh, exchange some favors. We're here on an investigating uh, a murder that happened here in East Haven already and looking for a possible culprit who's murdered elsewhere. What is it you wanted us to help you with? Some fishes went missing on the lake. Uh, we can't really coast. We can't really sail the coastline due to the ice. Um, some people prefer it, but you must be skilled. But we need someone to find these missing fishermen. There are other competitors out there on Lactinshire who would rather them perish. We'd rather they not. It's so simple. Search and rescue. Something I'm sure you're akin to finding. That seems... Seems like something we could, we could do for you. As for the killings... I recall put a tab there and everything, Matthew. You're a diddy. I recall they died quite a while ago. The ice knife through the heart. That's the one. What can you tell us that we don't know already? A large caravan had been passing through when it happened. The reports from all over. In fact, I think they're here tonight. I. Yes. Almost like an armored caravan of goods. They bring things that we need, but they, you know, charge through the nose. Where might they be? You say they're here. It's a big town. Or did you say that they arrive here tonight? Past tense, they arrived, so that would be that they are here. Okay. I believe that they were off by the stables and then they were headed down towards the wet trout having on the other end what of town. We're just, uh, we have the tavern. There we go. The amount of flipping I'm doing between right now is crazy. Yes, 
another popular tavern, the Wet Trout. Near the docks, um, it's a bit more of a rabble in this atmosphere. It's run by a white dragonborn named Nymetra. She's a bit, um, she's an, ac an acquired taste, shall we say. If she doesn't like you, you'll be made well aware very quickly. So she's autistic? Yes. Doesn't like strangers too much. So she's autistic? I mean, if, that, if, that's, if that's the route you want to go, then sure. Uh, seems like uh, let me talk to my colleagues here and. Uh, Get back to you when we can go look for your fisherman. Hopefully in the morning. Of course. She takes a few drinks. You know, sits back and relaxes before joining the crowd by the window. These are all together. In this dank, damp, cold tavern. What do you all think? Seems like uh, the quarry, the quarry of our first mission, our first is is within reach. We want to, should we go get him? I don't see why not. Yeah, before they move. Further away, I guess, yep. towards the next town, or before they kill someone else. Go to this other bar, this other tavern, and see if we can identify him and hopefully get him. Have a friendly little talk. Yeah. Or maybe wait until they leave town so that we can catch them by themselves. And interrogate yeah. them. If they're in a tavern right now, they're more likely to be inebriated. Drunk people talk better. That's mm. true. We can get a confession out of him. Get him to admit what he's done. Well, let's go to the other tavern then. Alright, that's it. I'm writing something. I guess I'm gonna have to go. I'm just um, super tired. I've not really been here for the past little while. That's right, man. You're still very clearly recovering. The fact that you're here is impressive. <laughs> the fact that you showed up is yeah. impressive. <laughs> like, you, you go recover and don't die. <laughs> I'll try my best. Yeah, I will hopefully, fingers crossed, catch you on Thursday, then, okay? Yeah. Right. Bye. 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 I'm gonna miss the funny voice. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just like man that that's that's the character voice now. <laughs> I won't recognize it if it's different. Yeah. Like what did you do to the are you like a shapeshifter? What did you do? Are you possessed? Where's George? Like, where, where's Sweetel George? Where's Big Texas boy. George? Big Texas. Yeah, no, Big Texas yeah. George isn't here. But. Uh, I, I guess I'm your anti vaxxer now. Yeah. Prize B. He got drunk and forgot to use his fake accent, and now he talks like he usually does, like Texan. <laughs> He's taking a wet, he's taking a, a mild smack to the head. 
I'll be just whistling with the hammer behind his hand, behind his back. <laughs> but uh, these right. are sitting there as well, enjoying your time. So much in this book. So much. <laughs> they did that on purpose. <laughs> oh yeah, as you see this halfling at the back of the room as you are talking, you watch as he stands upon the table. He watches, he starts to talk. You hear someone muttering, I don't believe it's true. It has to be true. People are talking from it from Bremen to Targos. This. This is real. This. You hear a little tss, tss, and incense starts to slowly burn. And the place starts to smell rather floral and nice. The smoke seems to rise up to the ceiling. Multicolored lamps and silks hanging from the rafters and the light of several candles start to illuminate the uncomfortable looking guests who sit cross-legged on the floor and some on chairs. That particular area of the room seems to get a little brighter. You watch this. The small man, you realise he's about he's about the same he's about the same size as Lavinia. That's a halfling. He rolls his sleeves of his robe up, raises his hands and closes his eyes and starts mumbling away. Everybody around, including the Madra, are enraptured by this. What's your plans of action? On which direction do you go? Straight to the... I... Yeah? I want to go to the bar first and ask the barkeep for the, uh, for just a big pint of, uh, of a strong drink. You know, something something that has a little kick to it. There's this. Elderly proprietor comes up. It's, uh... Got a strong dwarven stout. He's kind of perfect. Pours a jug and like looking at you and like starts pouring it into a glass and you watch as they decant the glass in it like a bigger jug. And then like just make it there's absolutely no head on this next one before kinda of pouring it in. It was essentially a two pint pitcher. <laughs> Uh, one silver. I, uh, I toss him a gold for the trouble. We eating good tonight, boys. I take the massive canter or whatever, the, the jug, the alchemy jug sized, uh, alcohol. What, what is the, what is the, the suspect doing right now? Because you said he was glowing. The dwarf, the, the, the halfling? The halfling, yeah. Sleeves up, standing on the table, hands up, eyes closed, muttering. 
I kind of wait out whatever he's doing. What is he doing? Yeah. I po actually no, I position myself like in between him and the door. Just in case. He stands there. After a moment. <laughs> the candles go out. Watch as he starts to <clears throat> move back and almost lifts up. He watches his feet tilt, but his shoes don't bend. Lady who watches from the lake, come to us in our darkest hour. Tell us what you've seen. After a moment, he's all hear this. Of ice forming. And it forms on the window. I have an image. Invisible dwarfs? Everybody's getting right in there. Oh, but you're watching. You're in this. You're into it. Lavinia, you've been paying attention. I see anybody that's into it and kind of watching on. Make a persuasion check. Persuasion? You're persuading, with, you're persuading with your aura. <laughs> Do I get advantage because I'm massive? <laughs> Don't worry. Just like I have, I have the biggest, uh, biggest aura in here. Wrong <laughs> type of aura. Oh uh, fuck. She watches. He starts speaking. And shouting. And he does. Damn, DC was. DC was good. You watch. It's in the middle of the room. A spirit forms out of all the smoke and frost spirit of a woman. Watch as the hair waves. She's dressed in some rather nice clothes. As he does the little man outs forth. Ask your question. She will answer truthfully. You watch as the windows are frosting over heavily. <laughs> Lavinia, Lawrence, Obi, you can if you wish. Ask the ghost lady a question. Do we know who this ghost lady is? This is the spirit. This is the spirit of the legend, right? That was mentioned of the legend. That's what you're definitely getting. You're feeling that that's who this is, yeah. Mm. But who is it? The lady who drowned, or Dolovinia believes. Hmm. 
He's simply called the White Lady. Oh, no. Oh. Some different name. Did I see the... the invisible dwarfs on the window? Uh, whatever I've shown you is what you see. Okay. So, then I will ask, uh, what do you know about the invisible dwarfs? Grey-skinned dwarves. Stark. East Haven. The Cairn. They bore the ill intent. They hide. Near the rest. And the by the ferry. You said they hide somewhere? Yes. Oh. In plain sight. By the rest and ferry. Okay, in plain sight. You hear that and everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And some people do start getting a bit spooked and you watch like some people are reaching over into like darkened corners just to just to test. Just to be sure. Hmm. Maybe we can also check that out. Just in case. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so many things to do, so little time. Obi. Can I ask her, ask her what she knows about the recent murders with an ice knife of i what is ice knife what was used ice an, knife, a, ice an ice a, a dagger made of ice so by all yeah. accounts an ice knife but not the spell yeah no cuz <laughs> like i didn't want to like i didn't want to like mess up like oh nobody's been killed by ice knife but about the about the, about the recent murders with the dagger made out of ice In the town, now be the murderer. What did she say? In the town, now be the murderer. Uh, so the murderer is here in the town right now. Can I scan the room if anybody like? Yeah, uh, rock and check. Like, looks nervous, looks like they, they feel called out, or like, slightly on their toes. Yeah, I would say anybody who is hearing this can rock an insight check off as they wish, as it is pertinent to your reasoning being here. Okay. In insight, you said. We. Oui. Vape check in the entire room. <laughs> everybody seems to be a bit wary of everybody. But most of them are a lot more wary of you than they are each other. Yeah, we are strangers. I'm no stranger to love. I show everyone the fishbowl. <laughs> you can pull out the fishbowl and see if everybody kind of looks up and gives each other another look and... Even the spirit scratches its head. The fish looks round and just <laughs> passive perception of eight. It has no idea what's going on or where it is. It was just pulled out a jacket. <laughs> Is 
is there another is like more questions can we just rapid fire or is there like a limit only the people who run charisma checks can ask a question persuasion check so lawrence gets lawrence a question Slovenia. yeah Slovenia Arjun's been awfully quiet Obi. this session I've been kind of in and out, sorry. Alright, you got a question to ask um, Gary Ghosty. What Anybody you have any suggestions? What's the question? Sorry, I didn't catch that. I said if anybody had any suggestions, uh, I would ask her. Motiv- you can ask what the motivation is behind the murder. Hey, where the suspect is, I guess. Oh, okay. Or the murder guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed. I missed a bit of context. Oh, uh, so sorry. Um, Maybe it was the treasure that her husband supposedly hid somewhere. If I remember the talking right, the talk at the beginning of the legend, right? Well, I was more uh, thinking about like the oh, Ash right. knife murders. Because apparently the murderer is in town. Yeah, need more details about him, who the murderer is. Who, what, and why? Lawrence, uh, Lawrence leans forward and looks at the lady and asks her, What would you have us know about this man to bring him to justice? Why is he doing this? And well, what kind of man is he to begin with? You need to be more specific. Oh, more specific? Shit. I mean, it's, you said this man, so which man are you talking about? Oh, okay, okay. For uh, the question, I didn't know there was more than like... one man. Uh, I'm talking about the murderer. Um, I didn't know there was more than one man. Sorry. Oh. He watches. Um, he asks. Bert stands there. there. As it does in the room, you hear this. This is one of the windows just smashes out. Oh. There you go, still stands there. It's like people start rushing over to like hold something in place to keep what little heat in there there is. As you hear that rush of air run through as it does you watch as the halfling immediately falls to the table I will rush to the window and help with repairing it as he falls the halfling halfling is alive as you watch as he's lying there panting heavily the spectre gone Oh, the spectre left, I was about to say. Lies in... There's always... There's always one that... She doesn't know. It's a gamble. You've asked... You've asked good... Good questions. But... It's exhausting. Oh... As he falls to a state unconsciousness. Hmm. So she didn't know the answer. Is that what he meant? That's what you can infer. Hmm. Well, say we go to the other tavern and, uh, Try to find the fellow that we were just since after. See if we can ascertain if it's him or not. Well, I'm with him. Then we'll see as your group heads on out. Through the town, 
bracing your time. We do. It takes about a good 10 minutes to get there. But you do end up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 2,000 feet, whatever. <laughs> you do end up getting there eventually as you open the door to this particular tavern. As you do, it's almost like one of those scenes from a western. As you just walk in, the place gets quiet. And people turn to the door and look as you shamble on in. And the great chimney of this particular tavern is located directly in the middle. See, room is filled with all manner of chairs, bars, tables. And this rather large hearth in the centre where food is grilled and the bar does go all the way round. See? Dragonborn eyes you coming in. You see all manner of people looking the dragonborn yeah leans into you what will it be food or drink a drink please okay. I, I still have the big picture okay. in my hand i just like been sipping it the entire time Like as as I like, he he asked that I just finish my drink. A uh, drink, please. And she fills it up. The frost maiden's been good to us this year, hasn't she? I think good is a uh, relative. Actually, wait, is the frost maiden a good guy? I don't know. Or all the frost maiden. The one that's put this place in an everlasting winter. Oh yeah, no, dead bitch. Fuck her. <laughs> it may be in the wrong company for that. I'm the fault. He looks at ya. Two silver. Watch their eyes yeah. narrow a little. Oh wait, no, I didn't say fuck her like out loud. Like, no, 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 it's just in general. Her oh. eyes narrow and she charges you to silver. As you look around her neck, you see a little pendant. It looks a lot like the pause symbol. Like an H? No, the pause symbol that we have right there. Oh! You know this. The holy symbol of Oral. Good thing you fought that, right? She's a warrior. <laughs> you just look round and you get your drink. There's a large grip. It all sides. But you do watch as a rather. There we go. <laughs> you do watch as a. Not scatty. Waffles. Use watch. The rather dapper, young looking man. I say young, middle aged. Seems to depart from the table of dwarves. And immediately exit the tavern. You. Dwarf? No, human. You note that he is wearing a nice buttoned down vest that seems to be double breasted. A short sleeve shirt. A normal ass set of boots by any means. Yeah. White streak through his hair and 
he's wearing just standard trousers as he opens the door and walks on out. Seeing you meet the description of the guy we're after? I suppose the best way to do it is to to use the words of Ruby. And Cold didn't bother him. Hmm. And I mean, it's bothering you. It bothers. Doesn't bother me. It bothers Wapples, and he's he's a Triton. He's used to the cold. Even he's a bit taken back. What is that? <laughs> Was using you as an example. That's all. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably just put the crab in something. I'm gonna get up and follow him out. Follow him out yeah. into the blistering cold. Because everybody seems to watch. What's everybody else doing? I think I'm gonna subtly follow as well. Anybody else following? Anybody else drinking? What's uh, what's going on? Do I know? I'm just enjoying my drink, I think. And it is a good drink, shall we say. A strong drink. A warming drink now that I say that I feel you're maybe resistant to yep you're resistant to cold damage I'm noticing <laughs> a trend here why that so? got it make it an adult white dragon not a young one mm. Mm. however as you start hunting this man scary through the the township, we say. He's on swim speed, that's why. He seems to move with a great speed for wearing just standard boots. It's a bit faster than you, really. And as he keeps running and moving, ducking in and out of corridors. You watch as he comes to a small area. As he does, he seems to look round. I'll hide looking, behind a wall. If he's looking for something. As he does, he watches places his hand out and as it does an almost scimitar shall we say of pure solid ice a falchion this looks like to me a falchion and as he stands there in the middle of this area looking around looks a little something like this Mad Mercer I'm gonna go that far. As he starts to gaze round, I'm gonna ask everybody to roll a stealth check. Everybody that followed, I assumed. What was that, Ruby? Everybody that followed, I assumed. Everybody that followed. I will say that George followed because he is a sheep. 
fucking sheeple. Uh, he has plus one on his stealth. So after how many drinks do I need to start making concerts from to not get drunk? That's just some shit beer. Well, I've drank about like two, three <coughs> big, big, big pints. Disadvantage. Yeah. I've Scale been drinking. Yeah, but oh. even, even, you know, 1% alcohol be ABV, like, you could drink 12 pints of that. You're going to get lightly buzzed at best. This shit's watered down to last longer. Fucking scam. Or boy. Here, well, let me make this little perception check. You can't possibly fail. Let's see. He tries to sneak up and just goes like slush, slush, slush. RJ, if you followed, could you give me a stealth check real quick, but I. RJ, you muted. Judging from what he said, I believe he's following. I'll just roll for him. Uh... Lawrence is wearing leather armor. Okay. Okay. Leather armor, and he has a plus two to his stealth. Nine. I'm doing great. I'm doing great <laughs> for everybody. But the 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 hoo hoo. So let's see. Lawrence. Waples. George. Lavinia. Allow me to setteth the scene, shall I? I will also point out that we are 110% coming back to this map in the future. This was just the only map I had. <coughs> oh, but you're in the pub getting drunk. Yep. The man around. Have you cheated? Or are you just here for entertainment purposes? Be honest now. As he turns and looks in your general direction. If you rolled higher than a 13, you are hiding. You rolled Lower than a 13. This man <laughs> is staring into your soul right now. You look now, this well built man in his 30s has an olive complexion, dark pulled back hair in a ponytail with no facial hair or body hair. Dressed in a stylish vest with matching pants and boots and a similar style to those worn by mariners in the Sword Coast. But wears no armor or cold weather clothing and does not appear initially to have been armed. Is it not like noblish clothing? This Baron? It's, it is noblish clothing, yes. And as you look, oh, it is. his eyes. His eyes glow blue. Blue, uh, Babelus turns his head, lifts up the fishbowl, and asks us for guidance. What do I say? <laughs> the fish of heavenly wisdom says... 
going up for a wee. Just keep swimming. It seems to have lost me, brother. <laughs> it seems to swim round in a circle in the bowl, takes a little look round and... Hungry. Food. Fight. Eat. Food. Eat me, please. Food. Please. The fish of heavenly wisdom speaks. Your food? The man takes another step forward. Why use. <laughs> Following. No. I wasn't following you. I was just going. It just happened to be going the same way you were. I'm, I'm going to ask you to roll deception. It's, it's a good enough excuse. It really is. <laughs> it's a fucking good enough excuse. Hey, oh, yeah, 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 not, not bad at all. I don't think you've noticed, but I took four right turns. Meaning I went in a circle. Why are you following me? I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, we've never been in this town before, so... We're still finding our feet, I guess. We thought if we followed someone who knew their way around, we would... Maybe get to where we were trying to go? Just fucking tell him. <laughs> yeah. Takes a little look. I... Find that one. It's all hard to digest. Are you making fun of my height? Did you just call me little? How dare you make fun of her height? It's quite rude to make jokes about someone's genetic disparity, you know? It's not. Yes, it's exactly. Not very nice I agree. To make fun of someone's, you know, it, it wasn't their fault. They didn't choose to be this short. Let's see, one oh, sword in one hand, you watch as he places his two fingers by his nose, and as he does, you watch his a dagger of ice forms in the other hand. I cast Entangle! Roll initiative. <laughs> and also roll Entangle. <laughs> roll initiative? Okay. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Let's see. Oh, let's combat of the first and only combat of the session. Let's go with a classic. So, oh, yeah, I've got to roll in George. George got a George got a nat twenty. <laughs> nice. RJ. RJ. This better not become a theme. So for each turn, I can use an item, right? Like yeah. I, I can take take an action to drink a drink. <laughs> Meaning for every round of combat, I can finish a beer. On initiative so just... twenty, layer action. Obey downs a pint. Legendary no, 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 no. action downs two pints. Every six seconds, it's another <laughs> prize. It's even better. I'm now in the initiative. <laughs> Wait, is Lawrence first or George? Uh, I've rolled for both Lawrence. And Lawrence got a natural 19. And um, George got a natural 20, so. Yeah. That means Lawrence would go first, but he has the higher 
modifier. Ah, yes, okay. then. Because initiative is a kill check that doesn't break in the critical hit. And so, uh, since RJ has decided to go quiet on the Western Front, who here would like to play a level 1 fighter at the same time? Yay! <laughs> I'll, pl I'll play it, I don't have anything to do right now. <laughs> Bigger ownership. Because you stayed in the bar? Yeah, oh. I didn't feel the need to change a random guy that was leaving. There. What hooks are gonna go over Ruby's head? I can feel. However, oh no, I fully know he was interesting because you spend more time describing him than the rest of the bar. But my character wouldn't have the fucking. Why, why would they follow a random guy that was leaving? You don't know what he's gonna do behind this bar for two gold pieces. I don't have a map, by the way. You're right. No one has a map. I'm an idiot. Yeah, we know. Why don't he have his monk sword equipped? He. Oh. There we go. Just find yourself a defense. He does want a front. No, does he want a front line? I have no idea. Um... I do have a. I do have a thing, however, and we can be twinsies on this. Fuck around and find out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't control my character. Uh, because it's initiative order, you're on pause, so you can move on your turn. But you That's did see. You did go to or oh, to see. You not see right now. I can see the the walls, the lines. <laughs> you can see the lines of the walls, but not the building or the map. I can see the buildings. Okay. I can see both. Can you see every token on this map? Not suffix. What? Uh, I can see every token besides suffix. Oh! Suffix should be... Right, Ed, does everybody see suffix right here where I'm pinging? No. Yeah, I, I, do. I see them. You your, uh, your, your front read. Would you still be casting your entangle, however? Oh yeah. yeah I'll rock that off for you. I was, I was like gunslinger. I was like hip at the ready. Pew. Then I'll assume like this. But you tell you tell me is that where you'd want it, or a bit over more to the left, to the right? One second. Uh, do not see it. It poses a screenshot in the, uh... The no, I think he's saying he doesn't see Sephic still. Oh. No, 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 the Entangle Nigadu. I swear. Oh, um... Unless I can, I can do it. The screen's right here. Uh... I probably would do it where I would move it down, so... So the so a f the fighter can go up to him and smack him, and so not be affected by the roots. You would place it like that. Yep. No bother. <clears throat> then that's there. But... Tango can make. Wait, no. Doesn't Tango make difficult train? So it says it is. here, grasping weeds, ah. fruit from the ground, 20 foot, sound point you can range, duration. How is that any difficult terrain when a creature you creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling when it's restrained? It has to make a strength check against your save. So Oh, wait a minute. I lied. Okay, so I don't need to worry about the Fighter being restrained. <laughs> this this was trained, so I'll move it. I'll move it like directly center. Then. Turn the ground in the area into difficult terrain. But yeah, no, you're right about but being. It attacked. won't restrain. It's just... It'll restrain mm -hmm. the people in it, but not the fighter. Yeah, perfect. So I'll just move it back five foot for you then. Yeah, so they can just get them more in there. Perfect. Yeah. 
Ideal. Yep. And then Ruby, you're up. Ooh. Uh, yeah. He also has like a strength save for his turn. Yar, yar, yar. And uh, coming. He sits. Okay. Uh, uh, Wow. Natural 50. Are these these houses? They're walled like they're open, but. Um. I think I didn't wall these as part of the map pack. Let me just um look to the eyes of the token. Like that whole thing. It looks like I can just walk underneath these houses. These walls are very important, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that right now. Um For eight will hit nice. as you must it off, knock it off, and smack. Uh, it's a free item in direction to swap up and try uh, What are you trying to do? I'm trying to go pick up shields and water stuff. What was that? Longshot is first though? Yeah, versatile, one handed, two handed. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, because I wanna go, okay, I don't wanna go longsword shield to increase my AC. So you'd have to pick up the shield and drop the bow? Because you would, to use a second item, you would have to make an attack with the longsword, which you can't do. Well, he could equip the shield now and then next turn yeah. swap the buffer sword. Equip yeah. shield for so 60. I, I, yep. Uh, and that's... I don't think he has bonus actions. No. That's his turn. Yeah. I'll remember to turn off all that noise. Uh, Gorge. George. Well... I guess he'll go with Toll the Dead. That seems appropriate. And how do I... How do I make things versatile? If I can find out how to do that, it makes things a bit easier for me. Um, okay, that's going to be a bitch. He will toll the dead, his DC's 12, so wisdom saving throw of 12. And that's a nat 20. Mm. <laughs> oh, George will space out a little, skedaddle, skedaddle. And move over to Lavinia. Yeah, um, can I crawl under over here, like under the cart over here. You would technically be behind the cart between the house and the cart there. Okay, can I move behind there? Yeah, you're already there, I'd say. For you, it's not exactly um, a squeeze. For you, it's simple enough. Okay. Well, for you, for you to attack or see him, you'd have to either come out or drop to the ground. As it is, um, it is essentially. I'll, I'll move a little high. bit closer because I need to be within fifteen feet of him. Yeah, yeah. So, so like I'm under, so that I'm within 15 feet of him. How much? Where did you start off? Um, over here, I think. 15. I have 
So you would be prone and under and have used all of your movement. Oh. But yeah, can I use a spell when I'm prone? Yeah, what's the spell? Um, I have a question. Does an unseen servant use the help action? No, I think so. Uh... Like, tug on clothes to distract or something. Mm. Oh, Nick. Well, actually, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna try looking it up. I'll... No. As per its okay. own instruction, you make it interact with objects very specifically. I mean, object clothes are an object, right? But you're asking it to. You're, you're technically using the interaction of an object as a help action, not the object interaction action. So you're not asking okay. it to use an object. You're asking it to take the help action instead. Okay. Like um, what you're, like what you're thinking. Um, yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess I'll use bonus action to hex him. Yar yar. Um, let's say strength. This is inside the thing with strength. Hex strength. Does he need to make a save? Nope. And I guess I'll Eldritch Blast him with disadvantage because I'm prone, right? Yes. A 12 Six. for 7 does in fact hit. Yeah, he does, that okay. Low. Okay, nice. 11 total. I was shit, I need to turn off. <laughs> 11 total. You smash my smosh. Um. Panning speakers are going to really annoying. Or necrotic. Already added that on, that was your 11. Okay. Uh, Pan to speaker off, you get. And then very quickly got to turn something else off because. Nope, nope, nope. Done. Whoosh. And then we are over to. John. John, you are hidden. You have advantage on any attack. You rolled a 23 against the 12. Okay, well, good. And we'll take it's all right. I keep forgetting oh, the yep. new one. Alright, I'll target him. Fire off the long 22 Ooh. for an enemy. <laughs> and it smacks out. You're going to watch as it rattles him as he looks. Hi. Whoa. Didn't see you. Did it now, Sir Um. Just move back a little bit. Whoa! That was way far. Slow down. Slow down. Zoom out a little. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm having a little trouble moving. Back here. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, Obi drinks a paint. Waffles. Actually, can I can I run a con to see if I can down a whole pint in one round? Uh, okay. I just realized I turned off a set. Get that, that twenty. <laughs> so you're all drunk. Okay. No, it's one gulp. Just and the pint is gone. Uh, uh, waffles. All hail the new Badlands Chug. Brother, where the fuck have you been? Uh, a, a lot of places. Um, I, I, I did look. I actually got the family to leave me alone, but everyone else decided to pop up. <laughs> this is the one time I can get the family to leave me alone. Uh, waffles. You are up. Hey, Barbellas. Uh, how, how does he Barbellas, look? fucking hell. So <laughs> Calling you but uh, The guy is... He ain't looking too bad, he ain't looking too good either. There's some tears okay. in his clothes and... He does seem to be... 
He's got like look in his eye of hatred. Okay. Uh, bonus action, gonna pick up some pebbles and magically be up. No, I'm talking about them. Just uh, get them to pebbles. Doing them with some magic. And then action, recast and tangle. Okay. Just check any touch. Uh, magic stone is an action? Yes. I can bonus action touch pebbles. Oh my goodness. You're, you're the first person that's ever no, used what? this with me ever, so like, I'm not I'm not being pedantic, I'm just trying to figure out the spell as well. First person. Like, isn't it an action to shoot and a bonus action to, to make the magic, or is it the other way around? The casting time is a bonus action. Touch one of three pebbles and an action to throw it. Or someone else. You touch, the, the you touch three pebbles, do the magic, and then attack with them. I don't know. There you go. The, uh, the castle time is bonus action. What does it uh, say? It doesn't action? matter too much. I can just do it next, next turn. That's right. Uh... Here. This is when I'll look into a bit more, but don't worry. Uh, you know, you're not actually casting the spell, so fuck's given a zero as you go ahead and try to. We entangle the man. That is a natural uh, seven. He is restrained. Woo! Enter. He looks and <laughs> as he does. I'm gonna move right here. Oh shit! Oh, you were gonna move? Yeah, just one back. <laughs> Doesn't oh, make too much of a difference. Oh, you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Go ahead, that's it. <clears throat> is he? Misty steps towards yourself, and as he does, he takes a nice big breath in. And he does, you watch this, some of the bruising immediately vanishes. I don't think you can because you don't think he can because war. Within 15 foot of him? Hmm. Yes. You're right, but it's at the, st oh, it's at the start of his turn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, you're right. It's at the start of his turn. Mm -hmm. Fucking zero Fahrenheit. That is crazy. That's negative 20 Celsius. Fuck me. Mm. Well, either way, he will then make Doth attacks. He'll take the Ice Longsword. He'll slash against Bo Apples for the Bo Apples for the two entangles, because he's not very happy with that one. And he will. My AC is 18. Well, that's a natural 8. So that misses. By natural three, well then <laughs> he swings at you. Will immediately bring it up and swing straight back down at Scotty next to you. That's a seventeen to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. How far away from the tavern is this? They've been gone for about five minutes. A oh, fuck. Yeah. So good news is that at 17 hits against your AC of 16. Would you like the bad news? Uh, my AC of what? Four. Your yeah, AC what's of, the oh, bad? You're, you're, sorry, I'm, I'm mistaking you for someone else. Uh, the bad news is... It didn't do the thing. Uh, you are unconscious. I know why it hasn't done it. 
I have not enabled enhanced conditions. What? Uh, what? Enable output to chat for all conditions, yes? Yeah, I forgot to do the thing, and so technically speaking, Gary is unconscious. Okay. I knew there was a, a set and I forgot to carry over it and I did not know what it was. It was this. Um, yeah, give me a little sec. That's combat utility belt. Uh, enable conditions. Yep, that is on me. Now I need to do a quick reload because I had fucked something over and turned something off. And hopefully I can overwrite certain conditions as well because... Oh, I don't know what happens when this guy dies. Nice. So he's stricken you. Uh, you are not the unconscious. You will move 10 foot back and we move over to Lawrence. RJ. Please tell me you're here. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. For 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 now. No. Uh, Rocket off, sweet prince. All right. Is it safe? Is it safe to assume that the five feet between us will allow me to use my bow without disadvantage? Yes. Or is you that have a shield? That you, you have your shield, shield on right now, though. Yeah. So you would have to. I didn't put that on there. Yeah, I no, know Ruby. Ruby was playing your character whilst you were. Not with Taken us. Off about, yeah. So uh, you might want to front line because you don't have to your barbarian. But they decided to be yeah. a drunkard again. Gosh, will you will you allow me to 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 not use my longbow right now and then instead have a sword in my hand? You yes, can put this. Can yeah, you can put that. You can do sword and shield or longbow. Your choice. You haven't taken your turn yet, so you do you, my guy. Sorry, I just kind of. Yeah, you're right. I just couldn't remember if, 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 if it would take my action to stow and draw. Or I could just drop it, you know. Um, whatever, whatever, whatever it does the quickest <laughs> without taking my action. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, come on up. That's what you let me move, damn you. That you should be able to move, my friend. Oop. It's not a one. There's a there's a purple glow around Snap Tokens to grid. I don't know what that means. There's a what? Uh, Snap Tokens to grid was previously selected. Um, it's there's still a halo around it. No, I'm selected. I'm not sure if that means anything. It just means that your token will be snapped to the grid. That's all. It's your last selected thing, okay. so you can just drag your token. And I'm dragging it and it's so. Uh... Use your arrow keys then. Use your arrow keys. Gotcha. It says it's not my turn. Try now. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Long sword. Mmm. Who are you attacking there, out of curiosity, my brother? <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, 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 so yeah, he's he's uh, over here. Now, if you'd like to attack Scaddy, it is technically at advantage, meaning you could re-roll that. I, I just he, he's Wait, weird now. Um, it's showing that he's right right to my to my right right now. That's yes, decent. exactly. Like, it shows it's showing me here as well. It's showing me there as well. I'm also decent, I guess. I did. Uh, to me, he's, uh, also, like, a, there's also a ghost to me uh, where I used to be. I moved, I moved them five foot after that to rearrange himself from the battlefield so that way there's nobody behind them. Yeah, no, I see him. Like he's between. The, 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 um, I guess the between, uh, the two. You, usually, what I will make the assumption that RJ, you would move five foot forward to get to this guy. Yes. And if you move within that five to get to this bitch. 
you take a swing and you miss. Are you doing anything else for your turn? Well, let's see. Uh... No, I, I can't do anything else, so that's my turn. Then I'm going to go ahead. Rivy. Cleric. Yeah. Cleric. Uh, what, am I cleric now? You have access to, since, since RJ is back, you now have access to George instead. Oh, Josh, you should. <laughs> Don't know where the fuck that went. <laughs> Yep, they are, mate. Uh, Scotty is also unconscious. So, he's gonna peek. Where's Scotty? Scotty doesn't know. Oh, that... I thought it was... Uh, S-C-O-T-T-Y. Huh. Oh. So you guys spell it Why? Uh... He's so just gonna shout, God damn it! And, uh... <laughs> as his healing word. Uh, picks up Scotty. And then as his action, what? he's gonna pull the dead. There we go. And then, pull the dead. Uh, saves with a natural 10. And, did anything else? Uh, he goes back where he came from. Don't die! I will make my way. You don't over have enough movement for that. It's bear crawling. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I'm 15 feet. So give me a sec. Stop. If I'm... don't move, don't move. Pull it back. Because it's there we go. So George, and then somehow it thinks you're all the way up here. Somehow I have no idea why. So yeah. I mean, um... I'm after the... Yeah, something's broken. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess I'll crawl out. 20 foot of movement. Stand up. 5 foot of movement then... left. No, in fact, no movement left then. Okay, so I'm standing up here. Yeah, 10 foot, okay. 10 foot right. to crawl and then half movement to stand up. We round down, so your movement is moving 10 foot and standing up. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll... Just to help you blast him. I'll take these conditions off there. Seventeen for five, roll a d6. Nine. Did I announce your turn? Is you I can't move. And let me see if I there's anything else. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a Flavor is free, and salty is a flavor. <laughs> that means crying is a free action. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna cry. The, the, the tears will just evaporate. Oh, that's that's me. why everybody gets the same ration, because the flavor for it is free. Scotty. You are prone. RJ oh, is gone apparently, okay. Fucking yeets himself out. Oh, yeah, how, rude. <laughs> how rude. How oh, rude. John? Yep. You're up. I'm up. Oh. Alright. Well. <laughs> Let's. Miss. A three would miss. Uh, I'm assuming you'll then stand up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I meant to stand up first. I wouldn't make you roll. Uh, you know, the only thing you could do better is, or worse is a nat one. Is you take a swing and he effortlessly dodges out the road. Did anyone else return? Uh, no. Obi chugs a beer. Bopples. I'll get the oh, name right eventually, funny. trust me. Papellas is going to Bapelas. grapple. Papellas. <laughs> grapple. 
he has oh, disadvantage you. on contested grapple because he got hex. Wait, isn't Obi before Buff Buffalus? Oh, yeah, Obi, who is right not there. in this combat. Because you know. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. He's, he's doing oh, it. Never mind. You finish it. Another to think. Round. To think, guys. You're all gonna get a hundred gold, and Obi's getting nothing. Don't know, <laughs> why, don't know why I nearly rolled a charisma check. Well, that's a natural natural six. Yay! I drag him, and I Mexican wrestle him over here. Okay, wait, hold on. Am I just stupid and missed the part where it was clearly that this guy was important? Like, was the, the guy we were after? Or did we just chase a random guy that looked suspicious? You were given a description of the guy. He oh, matches fuck. the description. Noble, human... Cold doesn't seem to bother him and he's dressed like this. Meanwhile, everybody else in the party is dressed more like this. You know. Winter clothing in the snow. Well, well, well. What was your, what's your honest, excuse? You weren't paying attention. My ADHD was popping the fuck off. Yeah. You need um, to microdose meth, mate. Microdose meth. I tried, but the, like today and yesterday has been very busy, so it just didn't work. It did not help. We move to our boy. He's not very happy with this one here and what he will do okay, now. Make sure to give him the grapple condition. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's fine. I don't right. think he needs the grapple condition. Let me check it to be safe. Grappled states here. Speed becomes zero and it can't benefit from any bonus. Um, sweet. And then the last few points are just what happens to the grapple feature. <laughs> How to end it basically. Does that end up? That end. Oh, Misty of step. It does that, of course. And eight spell casting. Is he one sport? To the wind! And as he does, he will take his ice knife. Not the, not the spell ice knife. I'll point that one out now before we. Um, his ice dagger. Yeah, it's actually called ice dagger, but I like the name ice knife. And he will take the ice dagger and he will fire one off towards Lavinia. Mm. It's a thirteen hit. Yep. You take ten points of damage, five piercing and five cold. Does the cold bother me? Do you have immunity to cold? I don't know. Thermal cube. Cold damage does, doesn't do anything against cold damage. Okay. Uh. Yeah? I think That's at well. 6 level you get resistance based on your genie. So, well, right now you shouldn't have so any resistance. Done. Did you take a, a con save for your hex? Yep. Yep. Nice. And it automatically rerolls your ones as well, which is fucking crazy. And. You know what? He's just gonna fucking do it again. 13 hit? Yep. 12 points of damage. You see? God damn. <laughs> Two knives just. Out. And you're not going to get the unconscious condition, so you're going to have to manually add that on right now. I'll need to put it over from fucking Mad Mage or something. Um, so that way, like, he gives you all the stuff. That made us fight him? And then he will. Also, I'm going to need the concentration thingy. He'll move further over and once more fan two more knives in his hand, ready to go. RJ is back. Lawrence, you're up. Okay, uh, I'm very disturbed by this all. Um, I once again, uh, have to switch weapons. Scottish, am I able to do that and still attack? Yeah, you would just be dropping your current weapons. Like, straight dropping them on the ground. Alright. 
dropping them. Dropping the longsword, dropping the shield. Picking back up the bow. Let's uh, see how far It's it an action to take off. off the shield. It's an action to like, take it off and but just straight dropping them on the ground out of your hands. Semantic and ruling is really weird like that, but I'll, like, I'll allow it because technically speaking, you know, letting go of yeah. something is a Realistically, to, yeah. Yeah. There are times where like That's realism just makes sense, and I imagine dropping a sword and shield and pulling out a bow, you know, instead of. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, man. I don't even know why we started fighting this guy. I just came. <laughs> I'm gonna move forward, get a good shot, and shoot. All right. 21 for 9 will hit. Thank god. Don't it's know why I'm waiting for like second attacks. This is level 1. You pull and it gonna rocks him back. Did it else you turn? Uh, no. I don't have any reasonable bonus actions and I haven't been damaged yet. Jorge. Hey. Oh. Um. Let's see. I'm just down again, okay. Um, that's within 60 feet. So, uh, they're once again gonna shout, God fucking damn it, what did I say? And cast this on uh, Levy. Levy, that's a nice nickname. And then, um, once again, uh, this is a Dex. Wisdom. Um, on a sacred flame. Oh. The natural four. He takes eight reading damage. Oh. By the way, I'm here for right now. I'm just making a lot of noise. Was that? Did it announce your turn? Uh, I'm gonna move here. Okay. Let me know. I'll stand up, so I'm not prone anymore. Okay, uh... 10 foot of movement. Mm -hmm. And I'll... Elder Blast him. Welcome to Welcome Wobot, and 9 for 4 will oh, miss. Yes. As you... Boom! Just after a moment you have... Because it hits someone's house. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 10 feet of movement left, right? Wee oui, wee. Oui. If I move backwards over here, do I have cover? You have cover, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's in sorry. That's here. Yep. Uh, got him. Alright, I'm gonna move over where I got a good shot at him. And... Nineteen for eight will hit as you pull and it ricochets and watch it pushes him back. At this point, you like the hair is coming undone. There's like strands over his face. Like the ponytails get really, really loose. The clothes are ripped up. Something fierce and like he is like just holding himself together. One step away from screaming into a blind rage. Did it else return? Uh, no. Nope. See if I can down another bear. Bapala. Bapeles. Oh, another perfect gulp. Yeah, yeah, you actually got it. You just Bapeles. gotta enunciate the, the pe. Bepe. 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 It's because, yeah, we've got it. So, Bapelas uh, is my way There you go. Bapelas. Gotta be racist. No, it's the, way, it's the way I've done the enunciation syllables. I've done Bapelas, but it's Bapelas. There you go. You got it. Spanish pronunciation. Yeah. So, last. <laughs> uh, so he looks like he's on his last legs. He said, "Right." He's not looking bueno at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, so rules as written, uh, you can't 
oh God. non lethal a spell, unless it's melee. But can I non lethal with a magic stone? I'm just throwing a rock. I completely understand space. and I'll allow it because, you know. Perfect. Perfect. Non lethally throwing a rock at him. Oh, Did you fuck. Just <laughs> after a moment here. Fuck! Did you smashed someone's window. Our alarm starts going off, you don't even know what I'm coming for. I'm sorry. Uh, is he, does he have any weapons? I still. Physically besides the ice knife. Nothing else, just the ice dagger and the ice longsword. In his hands? Ice longsword in his hands? Ice longsword one hand, ice dagger in the other. No actual physical metal weapons that you've seen so far. But he's wielding it like a weapon. Yes. Oh, goodness. Oh my god, he found a way to get armor without being a druid. He what? He found, he found a way to use metal, like weapons as a druid. Because now he... They're not metal. <laughs> he will. Having seen what's going on, if you have thrown this and... Look at you, how... Oh. I'll show you how it's done. And he will throw one ace dagger towards yourself, and as the dagger comes in, he will try follow up by swinging the long sword in your face at the same time. That is Wait, not a rock. <laughs> a 13 on the dagger miss. will miss, an 18 on the long sword will hit yep. for four slashing and four, um, four cold damage. That four cold is already halved for you. Okay, so a total of eight. Total of eight damage, yeah. Oh fuck me, very much. And you already failed the con save, so worry not. I'll smack that off your sheet real quick. And you can remove the entangle. Yep. And it seems like you're doing your own health, so that is not a problem with me. If I end up doing it and you're like getting really annoyed with it, just say. I do, but have I was just like speeding. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we will move over to Lawrence. Oh, boy, sorry. Oh, shit. Oh. Alright, I can make my shot from here. Ah, I'm pretty sure. Last time I checked, this wasn't a short bow. And it isn't. On the does that hit? A 12 for 8 does hit. Um, Once more, like, more of the air comes out, there's like blood coming down through his nose, he's bit his lip through his tongue. He's. he's shaking. Is there anything else you wish to do? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Bag of tricks. Let's see. Oh, uh, 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 I'm pretty sure there is anything I can do, at least not from here. Um can move forward though. That I can't do. There you go. There may I I thought you were about to say you're done. I preemptively clicked a button. Maybe. Um. I'm gonna think of my guess. Here should be good. Georgie. Jorge. No, Jorge. Nobody's dead for once. That's cool. Uh. <laughs> Not to be. <laughs> Nobody's dead. I also have no spell slots. What a kawinky dink. <laughs> it sounded like a challenge. Friend of dying is a cantrip! <laughs> I can die anytime I want, thank you. Uh, he's gonna move up and try to bonk him non lethally. Mm -hmm. Oh, 12 for two. Uh, no, tw 12 hits for two. Does it knock non lethally them doom? As you boom and like you watch as like he is eyes ah, like he's seen stars, but he's still standing. 
he is still He's gonna standing. go, bonk! Hey, 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 hey. And, uh, that's his turn. Who are you? Is that true, Scotsman? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard listening to Eric last night as well. <laughs> oh, do you mean I'm a true Scotsman? <laughs> but yeah, as you. Doo -doo -doo. As it does, you all hear that rock off through. As it does, you watch as he is shooketh, brooketh, gadooketh. Oh, but it knocks him dead! Wait, he got lethal? Oh no. Can't non-lethal a spell. Eldritch Blast is no. force damage, so he is gone. And as you oh. watch as he goes, the sword and dagger immediately just into nothing but snow. Kill the suspect. <laughs> I mean, we can always speak with the dead, right? Can you? <laughs> you can try. Doesn't he I mean, get the choice? We can ask that, that bard that was doing a seance if we can speak to him, to his spirit, I guess. Cool, Babelaza uh, drags his body. Is you. On his back. <laughs> Just drag the body in a full Neanderthal style through the streets here and. Ever something. It was not ever. It's ever. Um, I'm gonna, I'll get I'm the name. Stop of... by the body real quick. East Haven. Yeah. I'll stop by. The, I'll stop by the body real quick. Do that thing that I keep forgetting people with bows can do, and Pick up spend some time to recover half. Of, yeah, recover half my arrows. So I guess it's routed down, so it would be one, but that's something. As you walk through the town. With body in hand, drawing eyes of some people. Babellas looks mean, like s smug. Look mean at the other people. And you do you. Where he's going? We are art. Like around, why, why, why you guys are standing around? Like I'll be kind of go stumbling down the road. <laughs> Not a beer in hand. Because, <laughs> yeah, he was like, ah, but you guys took so long. I was getting lonely. That's it. Falls down. Just walk by and go in the tavern. You in the tavern with the body and... The place oh, falls quiet. Ooh. Which tavern? Don't go into the tavern with the light. <laughs> I made, the assumption, I made the assumption it was the wet trout, unless it's the white lady in. Which one was it? The first one. And you go into the one the with the dragon porn? No. You do? That the one you, oh, the first tavern oh. you went to. Sorry, apologies. Yeah, yeah. You drag through town a little bit more and you go into the, the place. Silver lady. In, silver lady. Whatever in, yeah. was. You enter into there. And as you see the person, the half-elven woman once more looking at you, the bit of confusion before a sudden realisation upon her face as everybody else looks over. I think that's a good time to end it until next week.